Spider-Man. No traffic jams, no trouble. Uh-oh, speaking of trouble... That sounded like someone breaking into the museum. A definite no-no if I ever heard one. Might as well get some photos for the bugle while old Spidey does his thing. arms of Dr. Octopus could have stolen this million dollar ruby. And only the wiggly webbing of Spider-Man is gonna make you wish you never tried. You! Hey, that's a crummy way to say hello. You can stop worrying, blue eyes. to get rid of you. For starters, you could try eating onions. That does it. I'm quitting your fan club. Now that the web spinner's out of the way, I can continue with my master plan to take over the world. Sheesh. If I only had sinus trouble. I don't get it. Why would Octopus have stolen that ruby and left all the other jewels behind? Oh no, I forgot my homework. The professor will skin me for this. Oh, no use. Doc Ock wore me out. Can't even keep my eyes. Poor Peter. I hope he didn't stay up all night doing his homework again. Peter, time to get up, dear. Oh, no. If Aunt May catches me in my spidey threads, I'm finished. I must have overslept. Well, you mustn't be late for school, dear. Remember, the early bird catches the worm. Uh, speaking of worms, anything on the radio about Doc Ock? Who, dear? Oh, look at that. Why, I just love those adorable red socks. Uh, yeah, I guess I was uh, in the mood for something funky. Well, don't forget to brush your teeth, dear, and wash behind your ears. Sure, sure. Uh, thanks for reminding me. Oh, Aunt May, don't ever do that to me. 
I've got to finish this history assignment on the landmarks of New York or I'll flunk for sure. And the only way for Peter Parker to reach the library in time is to go as our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Now to steal the second object that I'll need for my master plan. <laughs> Boy, I'd better move it. Only two hours left to finish my assignment. The old spidey sense is tingling. Well, there goes my homework. Spider-Man, what do you want? You try anything and I'll call campus security. Forget security? This looks like a case for Roto-Rooter. Spider-Man, you've got to help us. It's trying to steal our priceless moon rock. Oh, ho. now that you need me, I become Mr. Wonderful, huh? There. Maybe that'll hold him. Hey, cut it out. Let go. Let go. Boy, I gotta be more careful of what I say. Okay, Doc, if that's the way you want to do it. Blew it this time. Hawk outsmarted me. He's got his metal arms on remote control. Seems he's gotten away, Spider Man. Fortunately, he left this valuable moon rock and took a worthless piece of quartz by mistake. Forget it, lady. Dr. Octopus doesn't make mistakes. That piece of quartz meant more to him than the priceless moon rock. And it's up to me to figure out why. Let's see, uh, landmarks of New York City. Ah, here they are. Hello? Oh, how are you, Mr. Jameson? Oh, fine, fine, fine. Never better. Let me speak to Peter. I'm sorry, Mr. Jameson. Peter's studying, could I? Studying? What do you mean, studying? The diamond exchange was just robbed. I need him to cover it. Well, you'll just have to get someone else, Mr. Jameson. Peter must finish his homework. Thank you for calling. You're so welcome. What was that, Aunt May? Oh, nothing, Peter. Just Mr. Jameson and something about a robbery at the Diamond Exchange. Hmm. Must be big stuff for the man himself to call. If Doc Ock's behind the robbery, only Spidey can stop him. This strange, powerful tentacle grabbed the diamonds and, and, and disappeared into the air vent. It's Doc Ock, all right, but I don't get it. Stealing little bits of jewelry isn't his style. I've got to learn what he's really after. My tentacles are now ten times as powerful as they were before. At last, I'm ready to put my most daring plan into action. Now to home in on Doc Ock. Look, it's Spider-Man! What's happening? He's going into the oh! tower! Hey, Spidey! Sorry, folks, and no time for autographs, uh, but you may applaud if you wish. Yeah! No wonder no one's ever found his hideout. He can have it. Ooh, my spider sense is ringing like a fire alarm. So this is where I'll web my camera. That's funny. There's no one here. But my spider sense has never been wrong before. 
And it's not wrong now, Spider-Man. Hey, it's nice of you to greet me with open arms, Doc. This will be the last greeting you ever get, Web Swinger. You have any last words? Mm -hmm. If it's all the same to you, I'd like to start with... Help! I've had enough of your jokes, Spider-Man! You sure? Did I ever tell you the one about the... Hey! You could have waited till I got to the punchline. Well, a little web shot will fix you. Oh, great. It's clogged with water. A pity, Spider-Man. But my deadly tentacles are waterproof. And this sonic quartz vibrator will paralyze you. Oh, I can hardly move. How lucky you are. You'll be the first to see how my new tentacles work, like this diamond saw. Thanks for the free show. When's the commercial? Sorry, web spinner. The show has ended for you forever. <laughs> Ixley on the bat, Doc. I never take one without my rubber ducky. <laughs> if I can't break these bars, I'll be bye-bye Spidey. <laughs> I can't even budge him. If I don't break loose, it's the end of Spider-Man. And even worse, I won't get my homework done. Time to raise the periscope and find my first helpless target. There it is, a super tanker filled with millions of barrels of oil. Now for the final phase of my master plan. First, my laser tentacle will stop the ship. We've lost power! Excellent. Now to immobilize the crew. It's no use. We'd better call the Coast Guard. Oh, that noise! My diamond drill will cut through this tanker as if it were butter. Now all I have to do is pump the oil into my secret tanks. Soon I'll control all the world's oil. And with it, I'll control the world! Boy, I never thought I'd envy a goldfish. Hey, there's what I need. A bottle of acid. But how do I reach it? A spider line is my only chance. Don't fail me now, you little squirter. Got it. This has to work. There isn't time for a second try. I'll never take a bath again. Uh-oh. Hope the water didn't spoil my snaps. Well, can't worry about it now. Not while that six-armed nutcase is still on the loose. Why isn't that no good Parker around when I need all the photographers I can get? All of New York's oil is being drained away under our noses, and he's doing homework. Uncle Jonah, who needs that pipsqueak Parker anyway? I'll get you all the photos you need. Hey. Oh, <laughs> good idea, Mortimer. Take the bugle's helicopter. Right. And Miss Brandt, try to get hold of Parker again. And if his aunt answers, say it's a wrong number. Strange. There's no sign of Doc Ock anywhere. Extra, extra, read all about the mystery of the vanishing oil. Hey, can I believe my little shell-like ears? Get your daily bugle here. According to reports from the U.S. Coast Guard, supertankers are being mysteriously drained of all their oil. 
I should have guessed. That's what Akka's up to. Uh-oh, there goes my beeper. Must be Aunt May. What's happening, Aunt May? Peter, wherever did you run off to? Uh, I had some more research to do. Well, I hope you're not studying too hard, dear. I don't want you to exhaust yourself. Uh, no, I'm uh, taking it real easy, Aunt May. But not too easy, Peter. We still want you to get an A on your homework. Oh, boy, what a mess. Not a trace of Doc Ock. And at this rate, I'll never get my homework done either. How will I face Aunt May? Hey, wait a minute. Why didn't I think of this before? If I can rewire my radio to the frequency of Doc Ock's sonic oscillator, I may be able to home in on him. It's working. Okay, Doc. Ready or not, here I come. There's no sign of trouble anywhere. I've got to get some photos and show off that flaky Peter Parker. Hey, what's that? It's Spider-Man. Quick, follow that no-good web-slinger. These tankers have no defense against my super-powered tentacles. Hmm, everything looks okay from here. I'll just set up my camera and check down below. Sheesh, that guy's got more tricks up his tentacles than a magician. Well, old Spidey knows a trick or two himself. The oil flow. It stopped. Something must have jammed. I'd better check the surface. Spider-Man! I'll take care of that meddling wall crawler once and for all! Hi, neighbor. Greetings from your welcome wagon. Forget it, fool. Nothing can penetrate this atomic glass I created. Why am I tackling the most dangerous crook on Earth again? I ought to have my pointy head examined. Hey, look! It's Dr. Octopus. And he's really singing it to Spider-Man. Hey, Ock! You keep this up and it'll be the end of a beautiful friendship. Whoa! Any lower, I'd never need another haircut. Hey, now you've gone too far. Great! Spider-Man just got nailed! And for once, I'm scooping Peter Parker. Uncle Jonah will jump for joy when he sees the photos I took. Someone's spying on me from that helicopter. This will stop them. Dr. Octopus! He spotted us! Let's get out of here! Oh no! He's got us! Hmm, looks like I'm about to become shark bait. Struggling, or I'll put soap flakes in your fishbowl. Oh no! The docks got Mortimer trapped in the Bugle helicopter. Almost hate to break it up. Those two deserve each other. Those fools to snoop on Dr. Octopus. We've slipped his grip. Let's get back to the Daily Bugle. <sighs> wow, just what I've been waiting for. All I have to do is trick Doc Ock into going there. Yeah, that's all. Surely that web-headed weasel doesn't think he can escape me so easily. You've run out of 
Trex Web Slinger. This is the payoff. You can say that again, Doc. <laughs> Cat got your tongue? This is Captain Gerard of the United States Navy. We'll take it from here, Spider-Man. Uncle Jonah? Hey, Uncle Jonah! What is it? Can't you see him? Oh, Mortimer, it's you. I got great news. I just took some pictures of Spider-Man getting finished off by Dr. Octopus. Spider-Man finished? Well, don't just stand there. Let me see him. Haven't even seen him myself, Uncle Jonah. Just got him from the lab. But these pictures are totally blank. Is this some sort of joke, Mortimer? Oh, no. That laser blast must have ruined them. I swear they were incredible, Uncle Jonah. Dr. Octopus sent Spider-Man to the bottom of the harbor. Funny. That's not the way I saw it. It was Spider-Man who clobbered poor Doc Ock. Uh, hey. See, these... These are pretty good, Parker. If you didn't waste so much time doing homework, they'd probably be a lot better. Oh, no. My homework assignment. It's due in ten minutes. I'm gonna fail for sure. Well, well, you can't win them all, my boy. The important thing is, we got these great shots of Spider-Man web-swinging all over New York. All over New York. That's it. See you later, JJ. Wait, wait. Where are you going with my photos? Parker! Why, Peter, you got an A in your history class. That must have been a really excellent report you wrote. Well, uh, I didn't exactly write a report, Aunt May. Instead, I used the pictures I took for the Daily Bugle to make a photo essay on the landmarks of New York City. The prof loved it. Why, they're lovely, Peter. But they would have been perfect if that horrible Spider-Man hadn't been there to ruin every one of them. the emergency meeting of the United Nations tonight. See that the Secretary of State gets a copy. Engine boosters to full power. Air Force One will soon be ours. I made it in time. 
And if I can get some good pictures of the president, I may be able to make a couple of extra bucks. Not to mention prove to my sweet old publisher, J.J., that I can take decent shots of someone other than Spider-Man. Say, any word on when Air Force One is supposed to arrive? Haven't you heard? The president's jet is half an hour overdue. This could be the biggest story of the year. And it could be just the kind of story that needs Spider-Man to see that it has a happy ending. fast before someone sees me. Good old spider webbing. The next best thing to a clothes closet. One it has just disappeared. It's off the radar screen. Last position was somewhere over Jersey City. Better contact the White House. Hmm, whatever went wrong, the answer must be in Jersey City. Maybe Spidey can find the president, even though I didn't vote for him. It'll take too long to reach Jersey by web swinging. Maybe I can rent a plane around here. The name's Wilbur Moses. This is my old-time air museum. Say, hey, that's a mighty fancy new astronaut suit you're wearing. <laughs> yeah, uh, say, Pop, any way I can hire a plane and pilot? Oh, you're in luck, mister. I'll fly you myself. That's luck? <laughs> you're darn right. I'm a World War I flying ace. Well, listen, I shot down 23. That's of the... great, but uh, how much? Gonna cost you $20 an hour. 20 bucks? All I got is a dollar ninety-eight. That'll get you ten minutes. Come on, that'll give me time to finish the story. We're flying in that? You darn tootin'! What'd you expect? The Starship Enterprise? Well, at least I got a window seat. Never catch my blimp on radar with my anti-radar shield. Robot K-12, activate surgical computer. Once I've attached this remote mind implant, the president's thoughts will be under my control. is tingling. That means danger is near. Wow, look at the size of that. It's some sort of a futuristic blimp. There's only one man I know who could create an overgrown balloon like that. Hey, Lindbergh! You gotta get me closer to that blimp! Whatever you say! way of saying hello. Hey! You know something? If I didn't know better, I'd begin to think you don't want to be friends. I'll just use this pipe to... Uh-oh! You're no pipe! Okay. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Since you both feel like fighting, here, be my guest. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta see a man about a plane. Aha! Hi, the J-12. 
jackpot. Wrong, web swinger. You're at the mercy of your deadliest enemy. Dr. Doom. Gosh, I wish I'd brought my autograph book. Your attempts at humor bore me, Spider-Man. Fortunately, I won't have to listen to them much longer. Right, leadhead. Because I'm going to stop you right here and now. You never learn, do you? Plated gargoyle doesn't like me. Well, at least the president is all right. Or is he? Hmm. I can't believe Dr. Doom would have hijacked the president's jet just for the fun of it. Well, while I'm trying to figure it out, I might as well get some exclusive photos. Now that the press is safe, old Spidey better split while he has the chance. Oh no, my clothes are gone. And I think I can guess what happened. Well, only one thing I can do. Sheesh. I wonder how many other superheroes have ants who wait for them to come home at night. There. It is done. Now that the representative from South Africa has been mind programmed, all of the world leaders on Earth are under my control, except for the Secretary General of the United Nations. Once I take care of him, I will electronically control all of the minds of the entire UN Assembly. And when they meet tomorrow in special session, I, Dr. Doom, shall be voted Master of the World. My plan is foolproof, but just in case this nuclear-powered flying robot will see to it that Spider-Man never bothers me again. Oh no, I'll never make it to the Daily Bugle in time for the morning deadline. And with my last dollar ninety-eight gone, I can't even afford a bus ride. Guess I'll just have to go by Spider-Man Express. Dead ahead. My spider line snapped. Now what do I do? I don't get it. My webbing is stronger than nylon. What could have cut it? Oh, there's the answer. Must be one of Dr. Doom's high-flying flunkies. Next time I want to get photos to the bugle, I'll just mail them in. Just my luck. A robot with a force feet. Now listen, pal. I'm sure you must be lonely, but this is no way to win friends. Come on, Spidey. You can do it. Well, good thing I took my vitamins this morning. flying bucket of bolts took me by surprise. But my web shooter ought to rattle his rivets. Oh no, it's jammed. Come on, webby baby. Do it. <sighs> Gotta unstick this thing or they'll need an eraser to get me off the pavement. Did it. People can't take no for an answer. Batter up! Doom should throw 
program his robots with better manners. He didn't even say goodbye. Hi, Betty. Oh, hi, Peter. Say, you're late. JJ's been asking about you. Listen, Betty, before he gets a chance to chew me out, I wonder if you'd give him these photos that I've taken of the, uh... You good for nothing excuse for a photographer. Where have you been? Uh, sorry, Mr. Jameson. I'm only an hour late. How would you like to buy some photos of the president? Forget it, Parker. Why are the photographers beat you to it? Oh, well, I guess that means you don't want these candid shots I took of the president just after his plane disappeared last night. What? How'd you get those? Uh-uh. Remember our bargain. I never reveal my photo secrets. And, uh, speaking of secrets... What in the world is that thing in the back of the president's neck? Give me those photos. Now we're even for you being late. Excuse me, Mr. Jameson. All our reporters are on assignment. We've got no one to cover that special session of the U.N. today. Say, why don't I cover it, Uncle Jonah? Now, that's a fine idea, Mortimer. I'm glad I thought of it. <laughs> I wish you could be more like my nephew here, Parker. He's attentive, obedient, on time. Not to mention freaky, funky, and flaky. All right, good. You cover the U.N. meeting, Mortimer, and take Parker with you. You'll need a photographer. Right, Uncle Jonah. Maybe I can teach him something about good reporting. Now, you keep your eyes open, Parker. When I tell you, start snapping. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am risking my life to tell you of a grave matter which faces all members of the United Nations. And, and so it is with, with great concern that I must warn you that at this very moment there are among you... Uh, uh, you must listen. Many of the delegates among you have, have had their minds taken all over. <laughs> What a story! <coughs> Start snapping, Parker! <coughs> oh! Only my super spider breath has kept me from passing out. They're abducting the Secretary General, and there's nothing I can do about it. As Peter Parker. Doom's blimp. Well, it figures he's behind all this. But I never thought he'd throw a party without inviting me. Erector sits. Smatter, you forget how to say hello? You were foolish to return to my ship. Haven't you learned your lesson, Spider-Man? Start with two plus two, and I'll give it another try. But where you are going, there are no jokes. For the Secretary General and myself, I have other plans. Bon voyage, Spider-Man. I'll send you a postcard. Oh, great. As if things weren't bad enough. Look where this bag of hot air is headed. Remove the sleep gas. I nominate Dr. Doom. All in favor, say aye. Aye! Oh, no. This is impossible. Dr. Doom is master of the world. If I don't do something soon, it'll be bye-bye Spidey. If I could just shoot my web line and turn off that freeze ray. No way. I can't even turn my...
my hand to point it in the right direction. Looks like curtains for my favorite web spinner. Web spinner? Hey, that's it. If I can fire a super hard wad of web fluid and punch a hole in the skin of this overgrown balloon, then the released air pressure will act as a jet. Blow the whole blimp away from Miss Liberty. Come on, Spidey Strength. Don't fail me now. Uh... for the old web slinger. Now to get back to Doc Doom. Now that I am the appointed leader of all seven of Earth's continents. That's what you think, Tinhead. You forgot about your friendly neighborhood web spinner. You apparently do not understand, Spider-Man. I am now master of the world. Look, I don't care if you're master of Melvin's supermarket. No! No! Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! I don't get it. You weren't kidding. Correct, my web-headed friend. And there's nothing you can do about it. Guards, take this miserable traitor away. So, it's playtime again. Okay, guys, it takes two to tumble. This is Dr. Doom to Robot Leader G-97. Bring the captured army to Mind Control Station 8. I should have figured it out before. Doom wasn't elected legally. He used one of his electronic gizmos to control the minds of the world leaders. That's what I saw on the president's neck in the photo I took of him. But now that I know, what am I going to do about it? With my camera stuck to the wall, I'll get some great pictures of my battle with Dr. Doom. That is, if I ever live to sell them to the Bugle. With the entire world at my command, the Empire of Doom shall reign on Earth forever. Oh, say it isn't so. I'd sure hate to see that ugly mug of yours in my history book. Spider-Man, you've disturbed me for the last time. Hey! Oh, boy. I just saw enough stars to pack the Academy Awards. Okay, the fun's over. It's time to put Plan A into effect. And it better work, because there isn't any Plan B. Robot Z 4 and 5, destroy Spider-Man. It's too late, Doomsie. Your robots are under my control now. Okay, kiddies. Spidey says, take care of your loudmouth leader. Get back, you mechanical misfits. You're mine. I made you. You've won this battle, Spider-Man. But you haven't heard the last of Dr. Doom. Playmates, it's time to remove those mind control gadgets. The biggest story in the Bugle's history, and we don't have any photographs. Where is that pest, Parker? I don't know, Uncle Jonah. Last I saw of him is when he deserted me at the UN. It was just when the action got a little rough. Did you call me, J.J.? Parker, you two-bit deserter! I ought to sue you for hightailing it out of the UN and leaving my nephew alone to face Spider-Man and that other maniac. Who said I left? I just hid. I figured Spider-Man would return to the scene and take care of Dr. Doom. But look at these. Get out your checkbook, J.J. These are worth a mint. Now that I have some bucks again, how about you and me, Betty? There's a great flick of the bijou about a strange super guy from another planet who's allergic to green rocks. <laughs> Sounds great, Petey. It's for you, Parker. Peter, this is your Aunt May. It's getting late, dear. You better come home now. You need your sleep. There's school tomorrow. No
Spider-Man. photos to the Daily Bugle before the afternoon deadline, I'd better shake my spider webs. I'd better take the shortcut over Central Park Zoo. Look out! They're coming! Run! Run for your life! The animals are out! Uh-oh. Looks like my photos will have to wait. There's trouble in the zoo. Out of my way! Holy folks, have no fear, Spidey's here. Gee, don't everyone thank me at once. Mommy, help! Well, I ain't no mummy, but I know a cry for help when I hear one. Spider line should handle those snakes. <laughs> oh, great. I hope I'm not catching a cold. What are you waiting for, Spider Man? Do something. Sheesh. <laughs> Least you could say is gesundheit. <laughs> yeah, that should hold those slimy reptiles. My stomach's growling, or there's an awfully big gorilla standing behind me. Oh well, at least my stomach's okay. Whoa! Uh, something tells me that inside that gorilla suit, there's a gorilla. <laughs> well, I always knew I had a fan club somewhere. Listen, Hansen. What do you say? You and I take a stroll back to your cage, and Uncle Spidey will tuck you in. Yes, so. Look, if that was an imitation of the Hulk, you're way off. And that takes care of the animals. <laughs> oh, no. The snakes and lizards are gone. And so are the alligators. <laughs> I gotta get to a drugstore and get something for the sneezing. I'll hunt for those rollicking reptiles on the way. That scrawny web slinger. He's too late to stop me now. Before this day is through, I'll transform New York City into a jungle overrun it with wild reptiles. All of them. Controlled by me, the lizard. Soon, my little friends, I'll unleash you on the populace of New York City. But first, I have work to do in the subway.
the tunnel. Now, all I do is block off the other end of the tunnel, and I'll have the perfect place to breed an army of reptiles. It won't be long now. <laughs> no sign of those reptiles anywhere. Ah, there's a drugstore. Trouble, Spider-Man? No trouble. I just need something for this blasted sneezing. Uh, uh, yeah, well, well, there's some cold remedies on the shelf over there. Thanks. I'll just grab a bottle. <laughs> this sneezing is the pits. It's making old Spidey look like super clucks. Quick, somebody! Help! Police! The lizard! He's taking over the subway! Uh-oh. Looks like my sneezing will have to wait. That subway train's headed for a collision. Are you all spidey? Away! I won't be needing you anymore. There. Any second now, this train will derail like the first. The train's gone wild! <laughs> Hang in there, folks. <laughs> Old Spidey will save you. Just a minute there, Foster. Hasn't anyone ever taught you to use a hanky when you sneeze? Don't spread your spider germs around us. Uh, excuse me, lady. <laughs> but if you don't let me by, you're gonna have a lot more to worry about than a couple of germs. Don't you get fresh with me, you disrespectful insect! Why, I'll... No disrespect intended, ma'am, but I got a wild train to stop. If I can uncouple this lead car, those passengers will be safe. This train's got one reckless engineer, but the old web slinger will straighten him out. All right, pal. You can't stop me, Spider-Man. You're doomed. <laughs> sure, sure. Every time I turn around, somebody's gonna doom me. You're no mess for my reptilian strength, web slinger. Listen, scale face. No one gives Spidey the boot and gets away with it. Here's a double-knit spider suit for you. Compliments of your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Oh, no. Where in spider heaven is the brake lever? Anchors away! This baby better stop sooner. I'm going to be one flat-footed wall crawler. You're wasting your time, Spider-Man! Have you forgotten that spiders are nothing but lizard food? The lizard sealed himself off in a portion of the subway tunnel. As soon as I find out what that slimy lizard is up to, I gotta get to a doctor. Hey, that finger under the nose stuff really works. Now that this tunnel is sealed off with my reptilian telepathy, I'll summon the beast from my lab. Come, my friends, to your new breeding grounds. Soon there will be thousands of you, and New York will be ours. 
<laughs> At this rate, I'll never get through this rock. I need a bigger shovel. Now, that's more like it. <laughs> oh, boy. This sneezing's... <laughs> getting worse by the minute. Oh, no. Thousands of reptile eggs. Ready to hatch at any moment. And I've got a sn... A sn Sneaking suspicion. I know who's behind all this. No doubt your suspicions are correct, Spider-Man. But there's no need to worry about these eggs. Because you won't live to see them hatch. Destroy him! Time is up, Spider-Man. You're about to make an excellent meal for my friends here. No kidding. I didn't even know I could cook. That's far enough, fellas. I'm afraid old Spidey's gonna have to spoil your party. Oh, wonderful. I picked a great time to run out of web fluid. It's a good thing I always carry my quick refill cartridges. Oh, no. My web fluid stuck me to the ground. Not even Spidey can unstick that much super goof. Looks like I've got only one chance left. No! Don't let him get away! Now remember, guys, don't forget to brush after chewing. Okay, lizard lips. I'm taking care of you next. That guy really packs a wallet. We gotta sign him up with the Yankees. Forget it, Lindy. You can't outrun the old super swinger. Mm, gee, I sure wish I knew how lizards get themselves into these small cracks. Oh, well. The way he hightailed it out of here, I doubt if we'll be having any more trouble from him. Does it? This sneezing's gone far enough. I'm heading for the nearest doctor. This radioactive weather control device will complete the final phase of my plan. With this, I'll turn New York into a steaming jungle, and my newly hatched reptiles will drive the inferior humans from the city. Oh, my aching sinuses. I gotta get to a doctor before I sneeze my brains out. Wonder if I ought to see the doc as Spidey or Peter Parker. Hmm. If he checks my blood as Peter Parker and finds it type S for spider, that sort of blows it for Peter. Well, looks like Spidey's gonna get his first checkup. Excuse me, uh, I'd like to see the doctor. Your name? Spider-Man. How do you spell that? A-C-H-O. Hmm, interesting last name. Have a seat. The doctor will be with you in a few minutes. What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen a sick Spider-Man before? It's done. Now all I have to do is turn it on and the transformation of New York will be irreversible. going a 
according to plan. Now to hatch the reptile eggs. Spider-Man, the doctor will see you now. Hmm, you, uh, you have a real strong heart, Spider-Man. Thanks, Da. Uh, ah! Ah! <laughs> yeah, uh, I better check your throat for any signs of infection. Say, ah. Uh, ah! Uh, uh, you'll, uh, you'll have to take off your mask if I'm going to examine you properly. Forget it, Doc. My true identity is a well-kept secret. Who knows? You might recognize my tonsils. Uh, well, at least I can check your pulse. Careful! That's my web shooter. Hey, stop fooling around, Doc. You gotta do something for this sneezing. Well, you don't seem to have a cold, Spider-Man, so I'm gonna have to run a complete allergy test. Uh, are you sure that's necessary, Doc? I mean, uh, couldn't I just take a couple of aspirin and call you in the morning? Don't be frightened, Spider-Man. This won't hurt a bit. Yeah, that's what the Hulk said just before he threw me off the Empire State Building. Uh-oh. Sounds like trouble. Guess I'll have to take a rain check on that hypo. Go! Drive the people from the city! Oh, no! Uh-oh. That cabbie's in trouble. Come on! Let's get out of here! Gee, Spider-Man! Thanks for picking me up! No problem. But it'll cost you two bucks a mile, and I only carry five dollars in change. Hey, quick! In the dead alley up ahead. It's a dead end! We're trapped! Sheesh. I dropped by to save your lives, and already you're rushing me. Thanks, Spidey. Hey, you were great, man. Nah, that was just average. If it was great, you'd be applauding. Somebody call the police! I'd recognize that irritating scream anywhere. It's J. Jonah. <laughs> Jameson. Call the army! Call my lawyer! Well, well. <laughs> if it isn't J.J. himself. Looks like I've interrupted an important meeting. I guess I'll come back later. No, 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 don't go away. I'll take back all the bad things I've ever said about you. Just help me, Spider-Man. You mean you'll print a full-page retraction telling everybody what a great guy I am? But, but I, I, I'd be the laughing stock of New York. You're right, JJ. It's not worth it. See you later. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Just get me out of here. I tricked you, webhead. I'm gonna run a story, all right, telling everyone just what sort of a criminal you are. No, you didn't trick me, J.J. If you'd have kept your promise, that would have been the real surprise. And now, if you'll excuse me... I've got a lizard to catch. Let's see. If I were a lizard, where would I go? That's simple. I'd go destroy Spider-Man. Hey, that's me! <laughs> Brilliant deduction, web brain, and that's exactly what I'm going to do! Nice try, lizard, but you'll have to do better than that if you want to get rid of me. No problem, Spider-Man. Perhaps you've forgotten that lizards can grow new tails! I gotta be honest, I forgot! <laughs> Now, 
now, if I can just alter the frequency coming out of this radio antenna, I may be able to jam the lizard's reptile telepathy. No! He's jamming my thoughts! Now you can just make like the Pied Piper and we'll lead your squirmy friends back to the zoo. You can't stop the lizard so easily, Spider-Man. I'll be back. Well, the lizard's under wraps. I better handle this sneezing once and for all. Well, Doc, what's the verdict? I, uh, I don't know how to tell you this, Spider-Man. You, you have an acute case of hyperreptilius allergiosa. Will I live? Oh, don't worry, my boy. Simply means you're allergic to reptiles. Oh, is that all? For a minute, you had me worried. <sighs> now that the lizard and his reptiles are gone, I feel great. Well, that's fine, Spider-Man. Oh, uh, by the way, your bill... Fifty dollars? I think I'm gonna be sick. Get the lead out of your web, Spidey. It's five minutes to midnight, and I was supposed to meet Betty Brandt at the Daily Bugle's New Year's party hours ago. If I don't get there quick, it'll be the second time this week I've stood her up. And poor old Peter will be on our enemies list for life. Oh, no. It's the Black Cat. And she's headed for the New Year's party in J.J.'s office. If I follow her to see what she's up to, Betty will be through with me for sure. Oh, give it up, Webhead. You never could turn down a date with danger. I can't imagine where in the world Peter is. I'd forget about Parker, Betty. He probably dressed up as Al Capone and got thrown in jail. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> this is quite a newsworthy event. Every big wig in New York is here tonight. And that means diamond necklaces. Gold watches, silver bracelets, not to mention plenty of cash. 
a fitting prize for the greatest cat burglar in the world. But really, don't you feel the mayor has made a complete monkey out of himself lately? Madam, I am the mayor. Oh, <laughs> well. What? What? Quiet, everybody! It's almost midnight! Five, four, three, two, one! Happy New Year! Thanks. Uh, Happy New Year to you, too. Any minute now, and I would clean out everyone at this party. For you, Black Cat, the party's over. Well, if it isn't New York's swinging wall crawler, how about I call you later? Here, kitty, kitty. Come to Spidey. Don't come any closer, Spider-Man, or you'll find out just how mean this little kitty really is. Gee, if you're that dangerous, I guess I should just put my hands up in the air and give up. Just a minute. What do you think you're doing, Spider-Man? I'll have you arrested for, for ruining my party, disturbing my guests. This guest of yours is the Black Cat, Cat Burglar par excellence. She's looted everyone at your party. Here you go, J.J. You're gonna hand these little trinkets back to your guests now. All right, Black Beauty, we got a date with the Chief of Police. Don't think I believe this for a minute, Webhead. It's one of your tricks. It's a good thing I came equipped for every emergency. Hey, we'll let the cat out of the bag. Who do you think, Sticky Fingers? <laughs> Happy landing! Hey, is that any way to treat me on our first date? You wouldn't catch me doing that without a spider line. Uh, hi, Betty. Well, aren't you a little late, Peter? The party was last night, remember? Gee, uh, I'm sorry, Betty, I... Never mind the excuses. That's the last time you'll stand me up. Oh, give me another chance. I'll, uh, I'll make a New Year's resolution. I'll never do it again. Scout's honor. In fact, I'll take you to lunch today to prove it, okay? Well, oh... Okay. Parker! What's the matter with you? Why weren't you at my party last night? Uh, hi, J.J. Well, uh, you might say I was there in spirit. Boulder Dash! Thanks to you, I didn't get pictures of Spider-Man and that, that feline fiasco, the Black Cat. Is that any way to talk about a lady? But... I'll forgive you this time, honey. Don't you try to threaten me, you alley cat. Get out of my office before I call the cops. I just figured, seeing as how you hate Spider-Man so much, you might be interested in how I'm going to ruin his reputation. Well, now that, that begins to sound interesting. Why don't you just forget about those things I said to you and, 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 and just tell me what you have in mind? All you have to do is print my challenge on the front page of the Daily Bugle, stating that the black cat is going to steal the million-dollar Maltese mouse. And if Spider-Man tries to stop me... You're wasting your time, black cat. Spider-Man will make catnip out of you. Hey, you're kind of cute for a wise guy. Too bad I don't have time to pursue this relationship. Well, don't just stand there, Parker. There's a story I want you to cover. Show him the details, Miss Brent. The famous Maltese mouse is arriving from France at Doc 13 in a few hours. It's going to be displayed on the Johnny Griffin Show tonight before a live national audience. And be sure to get plenty of pictures, especially the ones that make Spider-Man look bad. A million bucks! They're loading the Maltese mouse into that armored truck. The black cat could show up at any moment. I'll just tag along and play watchdog. I think 
think I'll check out this diamond-eyed mouse sculpture and see what I'm wasting my time about. Sure is a big crate for a little mouse. Huh? Those are the strangest looking mice I've ever seen. What's this? When the Spider-Man's away, the black cat will play. Oh, great. I've been had. This armor truck is a decoy set up by the black cat. It's back to the dock before the black cat steals that Maltese thingamawatt. Mr. Goldblum, safer than a fish in a net, the Maltese mouse. The dock's just ahead. Oh, no. I'm going to miss my lunch date with Betty. I'd better call her quick. Just my luck, someone's using the phone booth. Say, where have I seen that guy before? Well, no time to worry about it now. Hello, Betty? This is Peter. Look, uh, this black cat story is starting to get real hot, and I'm uh, afraid I'm going to have to miss our lunch date. I thought you were through standing me up, Peter. Honestly, Betty, this is the last time. Tell you what, why don't I meet you at the Johnny Griffin show tonight? Well, I don't know. And afterwards, I'll take you out to dinner. Okay, Peter. I'll give you one more chance. Great. See you later, Betty. Now that I've made that date, I hope I haven't missed my date with a black cat. I'll just stick my trusty camera up here in case I do anything so spectacular it deserves a place in history. Well, everything looks in order, Captain. The Maltese mouse is in perfect condition. Real nice of you gentlemen to keep it in such good shape for me. I wouldn't want to steal anything that had a flaw in it. Where's the black cat? Stop her! Okay. It's time for the black cat to create a blackout. Gee, I haven't had so many cute guys after me since I dropped out of high school. Quick! We've got to get out of here before she gets the Maltese mouse. Oh, no! It, it's gone! Don't worry, fellas. I'll take good care of it. That is, until I take its diamond eyes out and sell them on the black market. <laughs> Watch where you're going, lady. Lady, nothing. That was the black cat. Well, hello there, black beauty. Looks like your bragging news headlines should have been printed in the funny pages. I told you before, it's dangerous to let the black cat cross your path. Gee, I forgot. I guess the only thing I consider unlucky is spilled web fluid. I am curious about one thing, though. What made you decide to steal the Maltese mouse? Careful. Didn't you ever hear the expression, curiosity killed the Spider-Man? Not even my <clears throat> spider strength can break me free of this. Great. But looks like I don't have to worry about drowning. That ship's propeller's gonna get me first. It's no use. I can't get free. I've only got one chance. And if I miscalculate, the local fish will be eating spidey hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> I never knew smog could taste so good. That feline finagler is getting away. Spider-Man, you're alive. Right. Cats aren't the only ones with nine lives. In that case, there's one down and eight to go. <laughs> <sighs> She's beginning to get on my nerves.
I've had all I'm going to take of your pussyfooting, sweetheart. This will keep one black cat I know from straying. And I'll just separate the cat and the mouse. You underestimate me, Spidey. Oh, no! I wish I didn't have to be so rough on him. He's so cute. Whoa, boy! Time to make like a banana and split. Yeesh. I've done some pretty strange things in my life, but that's the first time I ever rescued a car lot. Oh, no. The black cat slipped away again. Oh, uh, Spider-Man, I want to thank you here. You rescued the Maltese mouse. How can we ever repay you? Oh, you could start by carving my head on Mount Rushmore. <laughs> uh, that's very funny, Spider-Man. Uh, you know, it's obvious we aren't properly equipped to protect the Maltese mouse in the face of the black cat threat. Uh, you're the only one who can help us. You must guard the Maltese mouse when it appears on the Johnny Griffin show tonight. Me? Guard a mouse? On television? You gotta be nuts. Forget it. We'll pay you double what our security guards are getting. What time do you want me at the studio? Eight o'clock, just before showtime. I'll see you there. Spider-Man falling right into my trap. With him guarding the Maltese mouse on national television, I can make a fool out of him in front of 50 million people. wouldn't let you down this time, Betty. Well, you know, Peter, a girl can only be stood up so many times before she gives up. Never again, Betty. And to make up for all those times I canceled, after the show tonight, I'm going to take you out to the finest restaurant in New York. Press. Mr. Jameson, what are you doing here? I got a phone call from the Black Cat. Said I shouldn't miss this show. Something about a big surprise. So that's why she picked the Maltese mouse. So she could challenge Spidey before a million viewers. Did you say something, Peter? Why, uh, I said I can't imagine a little mouse being worth a million dollars. Oh, who's there? Nobody here but us cats. <laughs> Get him. Let's see. That's what I need. The perfect prop to trap a Spider-Man. There goes my spider sense. I think it's time for Spidey to make his personal appearance. Uh, I gotta get some more uh, film in case the black cat shows up. Be back in a minute. The Maltese mouse is due on stage any minute, and Spider-Man's nowhere to be found. That's probably because no one told me I was lost. Ah, good. Now, be careful with this, Spider-Man, and watch out for the black cat. Who cares about the black cat? I'm more concerned about my stage fright. Tonight, I'm going to dispense with my hilarious monologue and get right to our special presentation. Uh, not only do we have the fabulous million-dollar Maltese mouse, but here tonight to personally guard the little critter from the notorious black cat, we have New York's most famous swinger. Here's Spidey! Well, that was quite an entrance, Spider-Man. Uh, what convinced you to appear on national television to guard this marvelous little mouse? Money. What else? <laughs> I see. I think our audience would like to know how you managed to keep your true identity a secret. Simple. I don't tell anybody who I am. I wonder what's taking Peter so long. Don't worry about the bad jokes, Spidey dear. Any minute now, you'll be the laughing stock of New York City. 
Well, how about showing the audience some of your sticky web tricks, Spidey? Why, sure. Here's one. <laughs> Don't go, you big... Why, you put me down, webhead, or I'll sue you for all your worth. Whatever you say, J.J. <laughs> I think it's about time the real show started. was that? It's the black cat. Oh, great. Just when my routine was starting to get hot. Hey, Florence, uh, you gotta see this. Spider-Man's doing a dance number with some cat lady. <laughs> Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come to Spidey. I promise you'll get plenty of fish and milk in prison. Spider-Man or Spider-Mouse, you'll have to catch me first. Seems <laughs> 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 you're right, webhead. Now the world will know you're nothing but a klutz in red tights. You'd better snap to it, Spidey. Or they won't even make comic books about you anymore. Give it up, Cat. Not even O.J. Simpson could outrun the old web slinger. Who said anything about running, Spidey? I'm taking a cab. If crime doesn't pay, how come she's got cab fare and I haven't? Where to, little lady? Anywhere, and step on it. Time for a little Olympic web ski. I hate to do this to you, Spidey, but you asked for it. This is where I get off. Hit the brakes. Oh, wonderful. I'm caught in my own webbing. And just my luck. It's a real strong batch. Hang in there, Spidey. The black cat's about to cross your path for the last time. Oosh. You're the Boy Scouts when you need them. Spidey dear, looks like our cat and mouse games are finally over. Now you'll see that there's more than one way to skin the Spider-Man. Wait a minute. I think my luck may have finally changed. Now I'll just collect my prize and show my fans I'm still the top swinger in town. Spider-Man, and he's got the black cat. See that this wild cat gets caged. Spider-Man, you were terrific. And I'm sure our viewers are going to remember this date for a long, long time. Oh, no. Speaking of dates, I'd better change and get back to Betty before it's too late. I, uh, I am sorry it took me so long, Betty. Hope I didn't miss anything too exciting. Don't worry about it, Peter. The only thing you're going to miss is your next date with me. Ah, uh, J.J., what do you say you and I have a night on the town? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Well, sure, why not? Don't work too hard, Parker. Who says the good guy always gets the girl?
how even along is because the science committee at ESU had to send two people, but I was their first choice. And I'm just chopped liver. It's a great honor for NASA to invite us to view the landing of the first Mars probe, and I intend to make the most of it. So just stay out of my way, Buster. Mars Explorer 1 has re-entered the atmosphere, and she's right on target. Oh, great. We got here just in time. We're picking up an image on the TV scanner. Look, there it is. Uh, exactly where is it supposed to land? Oh, Peter Parker, don't be such a pest. Be a good boy and go take some pictures or something. Why don't you be a good boy and go take some pictures? Who does she think she is? Up there! Careful, that Mars soil sample is highly radioactive. Boy, that's got to be the most important hunk of dirt on Earth. forecast the coming of Spider-Man either. This is what I came for. Okay, hold it. You're under military arrest. <laughs> Don't waste your time. You'd have a better chance trying to stop a hurricane with a fly spotter. Swatter, you're stuck with me. Spider-Man. Who'd you expect, the Hulk? And speaking of fly swatters, that gives me one heck of an idea. Strike one, web swinger. Go on back to the minor leagues where you belong. I feel like I'm all washed up. Can't somebody stop him? Oh, where's that worthless Peter Parker? Why isn't he doing something? I'm sure he's doing everything he can. Quick, turn your radar to full power. Hmm, everybody thinks he's a general. These high-frequency microwaves ought to blow the Sandman back into harmless dust. Give it up, Spider-Man. Your childish efforts can't hurt me. Okay, Big Mouth, let's hear it for my childish efforts. You overconfident fool, you're beginning to bore me. Well, well, looks like Spider-Man just lost his head. Oh, no, just my luck. Without my mask, I don't dare fight. Look at him, running like a scared insect. Uh, now to finish what I came here for. He's opening the canister. The sand's radioactive. Let's get out of here. What about your friend? Peter, don't worry. He can take care of himself. Once I absorb this Martian soil, I'll be ten times as powerful as I am now. Done. Now nothing can stop me. Not even that meddlesome web slinger. Take a wrong turn. These Everglades are getting spookier and spookier. Ever get that sinking feeling? And people call New York a jungle? Web shooters, don't fail me now. Uh -huh. Well, that leaves me one choice.
invited to dinner as the main course. I've got one chance. If I can get this blasted web shooter to work. Come on. Do it now. Tear up a paper bag again. Can't afford any more slip ups. I'm down to my last Spidey suit. You, Peter, is that you? I didn't hear you come in. Aunt May, I'm coming. wonder how you managed to sneak in the way you do. How was Florida? Oh, great. That's nice. I came up to tell you it's chilly outside and I want you to wear a sweater. But uh, Aunt May, uh... uh... Just be a good boy. You know how easily you catch cold. Uh, right, Aunt May. Uh, thanks for reminding me. That's a good boy. Now I won't worry so much about you, dear. This telegram just arrived for you. Better read it, dear. It looks important. To Peter Parker, you are requested to attend a disciplinary meeting this afternoon at 4 p.m. Failure to attend will mean immediate dismissal from school. Sign the school board. Oh, no. Four o'clock. The only way I'll ever make it in time is by the Web Express. trouble with Sandman, now I've got the school board on my back. And I don't even know why. Yikes. I just remembered. I left my closet door open. If Aunt May sees my spidey suit hanging there. Oh no. My spider sense is tingling. Can't worry about Aunt May or the school board now. At least I can stop wondering what Sandman's up to. Cops don't know what they're in for. Freeze, Sandman. Put your hands up and surrender. Whatever you say, gentlemen. It's a lead line cell for you, Sandman. Fools, observe. It's time you learned the full power of the new radioactive Sandman. There's one guy who's really too hot to handle. It's nice of you to remember, but you can call me Spidey. Can't you get it through your thick skull web brain? I'm invincible. Nothing you do can stop me. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do this, dust breath. But you'll leave me no choice. Hey, what's happening? I feel so weak and dizzy. That's the idea, Webhead. Thanks to the radioactivity I absorbed from that Martian soil. Ah, 
Even a spider would get a shock from a million volts of electricity. So long, Webhead, and I do mean so long. Can't activate my web shooter. Too weak. Too weak. of web fluid. Good thing my web fluid's rubber-based. Otherwise, I'd have gotten quite a jolt up there. I'll say there's a million volts in that line. Well, thanks again. meeting before I get kicked out of college. Yikes. I've only got 15 minutes to make it across town. Attention. Attention all units. Sandman has just been spotted at Broadway and Main. One of these days I'm going to wise up and chase girls instead of crooks. <laughs> That's no problem for the Sandman. He's escaping. But at least I can snag the money. It's not so hard to get your hands on some money. Look, it's Spider-Man and he's got the loot. He must be a coach for the Sandman. Hey, that's a fine way to talk about your friendly neighborhood web slinger. Come on now, Spider-Man. We just want to ask you a few questions. <laughs> the change, boys. Sandman escaped through a subway grating. Maybe I can still catch him. Doesn't make sense. He's got to be here somewhere. I am, stupid. You're standing on me. Huh? Can move. Naturally, you forgot I can make my body hard as stone. Fun while it lasted, Webhead, but for you, the party's over for good. There, that ought to keep you nice and cozy till the next train comes along. <laughs> that does it. I'm canceling my membership in the Sandman fan club. This blasted city needs more taxis. Imagine me, G. Jordan Jameson, publisher of the Daily Bugle, having to take a subway. Help! Anybody! Huh? Sounds like someone's in trouble. Oh, no. Just my luck. The one guy to hear me is old Hatchet Face. All right, Spider-Man. What kind of sneaky trick you up to now? Uh, hiya, neighbor. I, uh, wonder if you could spare a helping hand. Well, whatever your plan is, I'm getting a picture of it for the bugle. Oh, no. Only Jameson would think I was doing this on purpose. Sorry, lady. This is an emergency. What? Oh, thief! You don't fool me, you web swinger. Whatever you're up to, I'm gonna get it on film. Oh, great. You can pass out snapshots at my funeral. A heavy blast of web fluid is my last chance. It may make this rail slippery enough for me to slide. Oh. Thanks for the health cuddles. But you can relax. Your favorite web slinger is safe and sound. Stand him, officer. And there's a camera he stole from me. Okay, you're under arrest, buddy. You have the right to remain silent. Silent? Why, I'm J. Jonah Jameson. I never remained silent in my life. Take your hands off me. You hear me? I'm a very close friend of the chief of police. I'll report this to your superiors. You pickle head. Well, it's 
a pleasure listening to old Skin Flint yell at someone else for a change. But right now, I've only got one minute till I'm kicked out of school. Okay, let's get this gold down to the vault. Lighten your load. Simon! The one and only. I'll never get to that school board meeting. And I've still got to get my closet door shut before Aunt May finds my extra Spidey suit. It's days like this that make me wish I'd stayed in bed. Hiya, Sandy. There's a private bus, or can anybody ride? But, but, but you're dead. As the man once said, reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Well, this time they'll come true. think I led you into the cement mixer. I'll leave you and the gold for the police to deal with. I'm already late for a very important date. Excuse me, this will only take a minute. There, the priceless Martian soil travel is safe again. Now to try and get Peter Parker back into school. Now, Miss Beaumont, you say that when Sandman and Spider-Man showed up, Peter Parker disappeared and left you totally helpless? Why, yes, indeedy. He just left me completely helpless. That's a very serious charge. And since Mr. Parker evidently refuses to defend himself, I'm afraid I can only rule that... Spider-Man! Excuse me for busting in on your party like this, but Peter Parker has been unavoidably detained and asked me to drop off the Martian soil sample which he helped me save. Peter Parker helped you, Spider-Man? Now, don't y'all listen to him. Peter Parker is nothing but a big coward. And Peter asked me to give you these, too. Hmm. Thank you, Spider-Man. Based on this evidence, all charges against Peter Parker are dropped. But as for you, Miss Beaumont... 
got to worry about is locking my closet door before Aunt May peeks in. Oh, my. Peter left his closet door unlocked. Hmm, I've always wondered. What? What in the world? Uh, what's wrong, Aunt May? Peter, I don't believe it. You're not friends with that awful Spider-Man, are you? Perish the thought, Aunt May. I just couldn't decide which outfit to wear to the school costume party next week. Mercy sakes, you had me worried. Oh, wear the Hulk suit, dear. He's much more attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Peaceful as tonight, Spider-Man would be out of a job. And frankly, I hope it stays this quiet. New York City Power Company. Yes, sir. Everything's peaceful here. this was going to be a slow night. We just lost New York. The whole East Coast is blacked out. Yes, Mr. President. Yes, sir. All of our communication satellites are simply vanishing. Well, we're doing everything we can, Mr. Mr. President? Mr. President? Looks like things are finally starting to get back to normal around here. But for how long? And in sports today... Hey! The picture's gone. It's the antenna! Spider-Man's work is never done. I've just been handed a special bulletin. The fiend responsible for last night's blackout of the East Coast is taking over all TV broadcasts right now. Oh, great. I'm already late for Dr. Goddard's class in satellites and mass communications. If I miss one more lecture, he's going to fail me. People of New York and the world, hear my voice. 
It was I, Mr. M, who destroyed your communications and darkened your cities last night. And that was only a sample of my powers. Hmm. This guy's got enough hot air to light New York. My terms are simple. One hundred million dollars in gold for the return of all the world's communication satellites and my assurance that your cities will have power. You have three days to decide. What does it mean? Who was that? Can't something be done to stop it? So, I've got three days to find this mysterious Mr. M and put a stop to his plans. And only three minutes to get to Dr. Goddard's class. Last night's blackout of all power and communications becomes even stranger when we consider... Uh, Parker, I'll see you in my office after class. Just because I've been late to a few classes. It's all right, so I've been late to every class. But now I've got to take Dr. Goddard's dumb thesis to the printer? Goddard's been working on this book for 20 years. If anything happens to it... Phew, made it. mysterious Mr. M and Dr. Goddard, I haven't slept in more than a day. Fortunately, I only need a couple of hours sleep a day. But nothing's gonna stop me from getting some now. Uh, Peter! Except Aunt May. Can't let her see me in bed. She'll think I'm sick. It's unlocked, Aunt May. Mercy's sakes, Peter. It's a marvel how you get in here without me seeing you come in. You can say that again. Are you studying Greek, dear? <laughs> oh, baby, you've been working much too hard. You haven't been getting your rest. Maybe a nap in the afternoon. Oh, by the way, that nice Dr. Goddard called. He asked me to remind you that the space people are launching a satellite tonight. The new international communication satellite. Of course. If our mysterious Mr. M is going to stop all communications, he'll have to hijack this rocket. And he's not going to do that if your friendly neighborhood web slinger's got anything to say about it. We just got word there might be some trouble here tonight. So spread out and keep your eyes open. So far, my spider sense hasn't picked up a thing. Maybe my hunch was wrong. Uh-oh. Spider-Man! So you're behind the disappearance of all the satellites. You won't get this one. I'm calling... <laughs> Now you just play here nice and quiet till Uncle Spidey gets back. Countdown continuing. Launch in five minutes. I repeat, all systems go. Launch in four minutes and 50 seconds. The fools. <laughs> the fools. I've been from one end of this base to the other and no sign of any Mr. M. Maybe my hunch was... Looks like my hunch was right after all. My spider sense tells me I'm in for some trouble. I've got to see just who this Mr. M really is. Hmm, our mystery villain seems shy. Somehow I find a shy supervillain hard to picture. So maybe my automatic camera will help me put it in focus. And now for a surprise inspection. Four minutes till launch and counting. And 
four minutes till the world again witnesses the mighty power of Magneto. With my magnetic magnifier, I can multiply my magnetic powers a thousand times. Three minutes and 30 seconds till launch. And the counting. Even the mighty engines of a rocket will be like toys compared to my power. And now let's see what's behind door number one. Man. Magneto. I should have guessed. It would have done you no good, web slinger. A magnetic suspension beam will keep you out of my way for a while. What? Up here, Buckethead. Wow. That was almost too easy. Look out below. Don't be a fool, Webhead. I can draw upon the magnetic powers of this entire planet. Do you think these puny threads will stop me? I was sort of hoping they would. I'd love to stand here and trade witty lines, Spider-Man. But there is no time now. Please accept my hospitality, though. And make yourself comfortable. Use my magnetic powers to stop that rocket. There is now one minute till launch. All systems go. Less than a minute, it'll be all systems stop. Don't you ever get tired playing the evil scientist bit, Turret Top? Spider-Man! It's so nice when people remember your name. Too bad for you, you keep forgetting about the speed and agility of the spider. Your junk pile welcoming committee missed me by a mile. I underestimated you once, web slinger. But there's no escape for you now. Give it up, fool. Your power can't match mine. to get a picture for Dr. Goddard of that rocket blasting off. Now, that's what I call a pretty picture. I knew if I played dead, you'd get overconfident, careless. Let that be a lesson to you, webhead. We have T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, with my super magnetic Five, powers to work. Four, three, two, one, let's go. No, this is impossible. That rocket has more than one million pounds of thrust. Nothing can hold it down.
this magnetic bubble won't stop my web fluid if I can just shoot out a spider line. Should be smooth sailing from here on. Oh, great. We're hitting the upper atmosphere. That means we'll be burning up in a matter of minutes. Yo! I'm really in the hot seat now. There's only one thing to do. There. That's better. Now for a little maneuvering control. We'll be able to glide it in like the space shuttle. But where? I've still got to stop back Nito's plan to blackmail the world. I know. If I can just get inside this satellite, all satellites are controlled by a magnetic tracking device. If I can just find it... Got it! Looks like at least some of what I learned in Dr. Goddard's class is going to pay off. And big! I just hope I can make it back in time to pick up his book from the printers. Now all I have to do is point this at the good old Earth, and when it points at Magneto... Got him! Now to drop in for a surprise visit. Government needs more time to meet $100 million ransom demand. Government needs more time. Time? I have given them enough time. Maybe a demonstration will speed them up. My magnetic magnifier. I can send my powers over very long statues really give me the willies. It's almost as if they're alive. I would have to say alive, wouldn't I? It's time I put Magneto's toy soldiers to bed.
one spitball. Fun and games time is over, my friend. This is for keeps. That's what I've been waiting for, Jocko. Turn your own evil force back on yourself. While I was gliding the satellite down to your island, I modified this miniature microwave relay. It amplifies magnetic radiation and aims it back at the source. Pretty clever, don't you think? Say cheese. You still haven't beaten me, Webhead. The Earth is still without its communication satellite. Ha! Not for long. A little spider magic? Your power will drain into the magnifier. Power the machine. And return every satellite to its proper orbit. Very clever, Spider-Man. But you still don't know where I hid them. There's only one place you could have hidden them. everything back to normal or almost normal at least one good thing came out of all this J. Jonah Jameson publisher of the Daily Bugle loved my pictures of Spider-Man fighting Magneto oh great I was supposed to pick up Dr. Goddard's book from the printer at noon it's time I put on some spider steam I want to thank my good friend, J. Jonah Jameson, publisher of the Daily Bugle, for sending these pictures over. Note the skill and grace with which Spider-Man moves in these action shots. Note the fine coordination and the... Ah, Parker! My new textbook. Please pass them out to the class. As I was saying, Spider-Man represents the ultimate in grace and coordination. I believe I was saying something about grace and coordination.
Mysterio anyway. I don't know. They say he used to be a Hollywood special effects man until an accident turned him into Mysterio. Is it true? Is Spider-Man really going to be here? Will I really see him? Yes, my dear. You'll see a lot more tonight than you ever dreamed of. of minutes my special celebrity guest will arrive and my trap will be complete somehow i feel like i'm walking right into a trap a spider trap but the tv already announced i'd make an appearance on the mysterio disco hour show so everything looks normal but my spider sense is tingling like mad. If Mysterio's up to no good, maybe I can unmask him on his own show. Look! It's really Spider-Man! Oh, our special guest star has arrived. In honor of our wall-crawling friend, I have prepared a special tune. With a clever little touch of my own added in. I now command an army of loyal followers. Feel honored, Webhead. You are the subject of my first command. Listen to me. I am Mysterio. I am your leader. You will obey me. Spider-Man is our enemy. You must destroy our enemies. You must destroy Spider-Man. Somehow I've got to save my own spider skin. Without hurting anyone. There's only one way out of this. I've got to stop Mysterio now before he gets too powerful. A little spider muscle should make short work of this door. What's the matter, web brain? Losing your touch? That door is a special creation of my own, designed to keep out unwanted guests. pays to be a lovable superhero. Get him! We've got to destroy him! I think it's time Spider-Man became good old Peter Parker for a while. Especially since Peter has a play rehearsal to study for. Responsibility. What you're asking me to do? Fool! Mysterio does not ask. Mysterio demands. Ah, 
cut that blasted noise off. Oh, of course I will cooperate fully. All right, Peter, let's try it one more time. Shut that noise off! We're in the middle of rehearsals! And now, to create my unstoppable army, and I, Mysterio, shall be master of the world. system isn't affected by Mysterio's hypnotic beat. And maybe I can use that. Hear my voice and obey. We hear. We obey. We obey. We hear. This is one time I might find out more as Peter Parker than I would as Spider-Man. Take me to your leader. Mysterio, I am your leader. You will follow and obey. This crowd's getting bigger and bigger. Pretty soon Mysterio will have the whole city of New York under his control. I've got to figure out a way to stop him before it's too late. What's going on in this town? Hasn't been a decent crime all day. How am I supposed to put out a newspaper? Eh? What's this, a parade? Nothing works around here. It closes my employees. That music. I, I must. I must follow. I must obey. I must obey. I must obey. Hmm, the Daily Bugle building. I wonder what old Skinflint Jameson thinks of all this. The fun and game time's over. And I'll bet Jameson will just love being rescued by Spider-Man. Suppose everyone would close their eyes while I changed into Spidey if I asked him real nice? Ah, just what the doctor ordered. I am your master. You will follow where I lead. I am Mysterio. Costume should be safe enough down here. And now to do what Spider-Man does best. I must follow. I must obey. Looks like Jameson's fallen for Mysterio's hypnotic music in a big way. Now to tuck him safely in. And that should do the trick. How do they expect me to put a paper out if there's no crime? Why is it so stuffy in here? It's stuck. What numbskull is responsible for this? At least Chuckles is back to normal. Now to put a stop to Mysterio and his nutty music machine. I am your master. You will do as I command. On my order, you will take all the money out of the bank and give it to me. 
was hoping you'd be foolish enough to try and stop me, you arrogant insect. You've threatened me for the last time, Domehead. I don't believe it. There's no one here. It's all run by computers. <laughs> Fool! You walked right into my trap. Another little surprise for you, Webhead. A new disco beat I created especially for you. No, no, that music, it's, it's, I must obey. I will obey. And now you learn the penalty for interfering with my plans. I am your master. You will obey me. Destroy Spider-Man. We will obey. We must obey. We will obey. We must obey. We must obey. We must destroy Spider-Man. Aha. I have just the fitting end for our costume club. Listen and obey my words. Take Spider-Man Spider into, into the, the bank. bank. Clean, Clean up, up the vault. vault. And, and then, then lock, lock the, the web slinger in the, the vault. vault. And now to ensure a friendly welcome inside the bank, I'll just increase the volume of my hypnotic music. What's taking the police so long? We can't hold off that crowd by ourselves. This is the first city bank in New York. We need help and fast. I will obey. I must obey. That, that music, it, it, we will obey. We must obey. Orders! We must obey! I hate to ask the obvious, but where am I? Of course. Mysterio must have hypnotized me with his far-out music, then dumped me in this vault. Fortunately, spiders don't need as much air as humans, but still, it won't be long till I suffocate in here. Robbery. Spider Man. This is more like it. This is one story I'll cover myself. Once my army of followers captures a nuclear missile, who would dare oppose me? Tumblers falling. It's like music to my ears. And speaking of music, it's time to end Mysterio's music once and for all. What's that rabble doing up there? That music I... I will follow. I must obey. Yes, sir. I haven't seen New York this empty since... Come to think of it.
of it. I've never seen New York this empty. Mayday! 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 The missile base is under attack! Uh-oh. I, I am material. material. Listen, Listen and obey. obey. Capture, Capture the, the nuclear, nuclear missile. missile. Destroy, Destroy any, any who stand, stand in our way. way. I will obey. I will destroy. Nothing. Maybe the general just dreamed it. Dreamed it up, did I? Look. <laughs> now the army will march to my music. open the door without the password. You must obey. You will obey. But, 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 General. You must obey. You will obey. Uh, well, if you say so, General. I, I, I will obey. This is your master. You, you must, must obey me. Spider-Man is on the base. Find, Find him. him. Destroy, destroy him. him. We will obey. We must destroy Spider-Man. Looks like they started the party without me. But no. What happened? What am I doing here? Who are you? Uh, who am I? Who are you? Spider-Man! You're Spider-Man? No! Whatever's going on, you can bet he's part of it. When I get my hands on that meddlesome insect, I'll... Make it good, Jughead! Your arrogance will be the end of you, wall crawler. You're on my home ground now. Perhaps you'd like a little of my spider disco music. I prefer the Beatles to disco any day. Give it up, webhead. This glass booth is unbreakable. Don't be so sure, Baldy. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Holograms! Images created by my special effects lasers! <laughs> Am I here? Or here? Or up here? <laughs> Mister, you're nowhere! Looking for me, web friend? Admit it, wall crawler. The great Spider-Man has finally been beaten. Maybe not, Domehead. Hey! That's a wrap.
show must go on. Good night, good people. I came all the way out here in the rain for just one line. Oh, wasn't he wonderful? Peaceful enough. Uh-oh, there goes my spider sense again. Bishata, the Security Council meeting has been changed to 10 this morning. Stand back, brother. Father, 
Are you all right? My son, we must escape. Dr. Doom will try to... Don't worry about the pirate, father. One day, I will defeat Dr. Doom and free Latveria once and for all. Go, father! You better get him! Doom is a monster! He must be stopped! He must be stopped before... Ready, Doctor Doom. It is perfect, Master. Of course. Enough, boys. An exact copy, Master. Yes, no one will be able to tell my robot from the real Secretary General of the United Nations. Yes, Master, as you ordered. Your jet leaves for the UN within the hour. Good, Boris. Soon the world will be mine to do with as I choose. <laughs> Officer Harrigan, undercover squad. Thanks. You just helped a purse snatcher get away. Hey, uh, Harrigan, I'm sorry. You, you're doing such a good job. You fooled me. I mean, you really look like a bum. Oh. Uh, look, you're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. So this is what the broom closet looks like. Jameson's been looking all over for you. Uh-oh. Thanks. Uh, Betty? There's this dance on campus Friday. Would you... I'd love to. Pick me up at 8. See ya. Parker! Get in here, you nincompoop! Dr. Doom, the man's a tyrant. Tyrant? The world needs more leaders like Dr. Doom. Strong, decisive. It's going to take someone like that to stop world terrorism. I couldn't have said it better, Uncle Jonah. You couldn't have said it worse, either. I want Dr. Doom's visit on our front page. Doom? Here? Okay, Parker. Now I want some great photos. Undoubtedly, His Majesty will want to meet me personally. Gee, a whole fine trip. Sure you could spare it? Damn. I meant to give him a nickel. If you require anything else, Mr. Jameson, please don't hesitate to ask. You betcha. Now, this is what I call service. 
Uh, I'll see you guys later. Need another angle for the best shots. You know, the UN wouldn't be such a bad idea if it wasn't for all these foreigners. Good morning, Mr. Secretary General. My automatic camera will get the pictures Jameson wants and leave me free to keep my eye on doom. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, delegates to the United Nations, His Majesty, Dr. Doom. This is it. People of the world, I am Dr. Doom. Hear my words well. There is one answer to the world's problems. Leadership. My powerful leadership. With Dr. Doom, master of the world, there will be no more wars, no more hunger. All I demand is total obedience. Dr. Doom will be with you shortly. Good. Fetch my photographer. This will be a historic moment. Is everything all right, Mr. Jameson? Never better. There will be no debates. Vote now. Doom voted in as master of the world? No way. I. Yes. Huh? Dr. Doom will lead us. Dr. Doom, master of the world. We support Dr. Doom. 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 This is a nightmare. Doom elected dictator of the world. Doom. 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 Violence. Wait. I protest. The freedom-loving people of Bookland will never accept the rule of such a ruthless tyrant! Be silent, worm! <laughs> Let that be a lesson to any who would defy the power of Dr. Doom. In my first action as dictator of the world, I abolish all newspapers and TV. None must be able to criticize me. You'll never get away with this, you tyrant! My word is law! Doom still takes an interest in me. Doom! Destroy Spider-Man! Yes, get him! Grab him! Destroy him! Isn't it nice to have friends? Glad you asked me to the party this Friday, Peter. I've really been wanting to go. Parker! There you are. Uh, yes, Mr. Jameson? Good pictures, Parker. What did you say, Mr. Jameson? Oh, Peter, call me Jonah. He, he told me to call him Jonah. He even liked my coffee this morning. Ever since he came back from the UN yesterday, he's been different. Hmm. Ambassador, I want to help in your fight against Dr. Doom. What? Fight Doom? Doom is our only hope! He's as strong as Spider-Man. And has he changed? 
And he's not the only one. Oh, Peter, call me Jonah. We'll discuss printed circuits, which make possible your digital watches, calculators, even robots. Robots? Of course, robots! Oops, sorry. Perfect. Now to close the trap with my own spider's sleep gas. Spider-Man. You're the only one I can trust. Doom's replaced the entire UN Security Council with robots. Jameson, too. Exact duplicates. Not so fast, Spider-Man. <laughs> Robbie, my best friend. What have I done? He's ruined one of my better robots, but no matter. At last, Spider-Man is mine. Yeah, I wonder what Dr. Doom has in store for our costume clown here. I got a better question. Who's under that silly spider mask? Yeah. How does this blasted thing come off? Hey! Nothing I can do now will ever bring my best friend Robbie Robertson back to life. But at least I can stop Dr. Doom. Somehow. Thank you, my man. Idiots, incompetent fools. I shall have to destroy Spider-Man myself. Oh, great. And here I am, a sitting spider. If Doom thinks these silly little bars are gonna stop your ever-loving wall crawler... Yo! Electrified! Not just electrified, web-swinger, but a paralyzing force field. Those rays! I'm getting weaker. Only one chance? No! Okay, let's grab him! Takes care of Spider-Man. Now I can continue my work without interference by that meddling fool. Where is he? Nobody can hold his breath that long. Split up. Correction. No one without spider power can hold his breath that long. This robot electronics is pretty heavy stuff, but I'll learn it. Got to avenge Robbie. Go to the Black Diamond and get rid of the guard. Mr. Secretary General, evening, sir. I wish to study the Black Diamond for a moment, alone. Well, uh, I guess it's okay for you. Use your mechanical finger to unlock the case. Replace it with the fake diamond. Good. Very good. Uh, thank you. Good night. Good night, sir. Wait a minute. I think I've got it. I know how to defeat Doom. 
<laughs> Peter, I know you've been sneezing, dear, so I made you some nice hot soup. But, but Aunt May, I don't have time right now. I really have to... Nonsense, Petey. Now, I want you to get your rest, dear. We can't have you getting sick. All right, Aunt May. Now, you keep nice and warm. I will, Aunt May, and thanks. She's such a sweet old lady. I don't know what I'd do without her. But right now, Spider-Man's got a job to do. Professor, I need your help. I know you're surprised to see me, but let me explain. This should do the trick, but we won't know until we test it. No time for tests, Professor. Dr. Doom to address the entire world at noon today. That doesn't give me much time. Hey, what's this? A Latvian ship. Of course. I'll bet that blasted Spider-Man's behind this somehow. Yeah. Hiya, fellas. What you know? Now to see if my hunch was right. You still president of the Doctor Doom fan club? Spider-Man! I knew you were behind this! When are you going to... Robbie! But that's impossible. I... I... You what? Of course. You're one of Doctor Doom's robots. And I can prove it! See? See what? But... Then you're not a robot. You sure about that now? Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I'd like to stay in chat, but right now I've got a date with Doom. Silence, people of the world. I am Dr. Doom. I am your leader. As of now, all armies are under my command. All world leaders will answer to me. I'm afraid you're a bit premature, Tin Head. Seize him! Sorry, Metal Mouth, but the game's up. explode your dream of power, Tin Man, but the entire world just witnessed your treachery. I'm afraid you've bombed out. You may have stopped me this time, you loathsome creature, but the last blast is on me. I've heard of people going to pieces over losing, but this is ridiculous. Remember this, and remember it well, you arrogant insect. Even in defeat, Dr. Doom never loses. We are not finished, Spider-Man. You and I still have a score to settle. Hello? Peter, why didn't you pick me up for the dance? Oh, I'm sorry, Betty. Something important came up. You'd be surprised.
Spider-Man's on a crime rampage. Don't you worry, Uncle Jonah. If Spider-Man shows up, I'll be ready for him. Are you sure you want to do this, Aunt May? Oh, yes, indeedy. Unless it's too much for you, dear. to do this, Aunt May? Of course. Now, you let me check your seatbelt, dear. Now, uh, what do they say? Three, two, one, blast off! what we used to call a real humdinger. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Step right up! It's only a quarter! Who's next? Ooh, that looks like fun, children. Uh-oh, my spider sense. What'd you say, Peter? Uh, I said, uh, here we go again. Wait here for us, dear. I'm worried about you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right, Aunt May. Thanks. I think he may have been bitten by a bug.
It's time we pulled off the crime of the century. And with my special hypnotic gas, the eyewitnesses will swear they saw Spider-Man do it. <laughs> century and all blamed on Spider-Man. Of course, there is one small flaw. Spider-Man. Very good. You got it right the first time. All right. Get him, boys. me 
an idea. is better than that creep Parker.
I call beautiful. 100 million in gold. Now for the final touch. Gorgon, son of Kong. Spider-Man would bite Gorgon. Haven't you learned your lesson yet? Hi there! Oh, now, we're not going to go through this again, are we, wall crawler? Not planning on it, Top Hat! from selling that gold. Spider-Man, Aunt May. And I'm putting him right where he belongs, dear.
time I don't feel conspicuous. Yo, I'm going to be late for the college party. Now you two take care. Halloween brings out a lot of weird creatures. Look at me, your favorite weirdo, Spider-Man. What? Where? Trick or treat. Trick or treat, lady. Oh, you. Here you are. Right weather for Halloween. Nice for snuggling, too. Yeah, come on, Betty. We're gonna be late. from the ceiling. <laughs> Thought it'd make a great Halloween gimmick. Fooled me. But why is my spider sense tingling? Peter, what's wrong? Peter? Uh, Betty, I almost forgot. I left your Halloween present in my locker. Oh, a present? For me? Yeah, I'll be right back. Something's wrong in the science lab. Locked. I hate to do this, but...
stairways are for Peter Parker. Spider-Man can take a shortcut. Good thing I'm not superstitious. Janitors don't clean inside safes. Showing the world that Spider-Man is really Peter Parker. And that will put an end to you once and for all. Ah, my greatest triumph. The memory amplifier. Wear it and every thought, every moment of your life materializes before you in a life-size holographic image. Our first encounter three years ago tonight. were no match for me then, or now. You remember the accident that started it all. That's me, Norman Osborne, titan of industry, one moment before the explosion that transformed my life. I survived, but my empire was ruined. It was all Joe, not Jameson's fault, printing those stories about unsafe conditions in my plants. No one realized the accident had given me superhuman powers. Then you had to butt in. I'm sorry I spoiled your plans. Oh, good. You've got your voice back. I hate talking to statues. No use struggling. Your body will be frozen solid for at least another hour. Since I unmasked you, then it was only fair that I unmasked myself. That was your last grandstand play, Goblin. Ah, I forgot you saved me from the fire. Even if it cost me three years of freedom. The shock blanked out your memory and left my identity secret. Until now. What happened? It was the shock of the train wreck. was the Green Goblin. I came here for my possessions. Finding you was an unexpected pleasure. Fitting that my revenge shall begin by ridding the world of Spider-Man. Peter! Peter, where are you? Perfect. <laughs> Just in time to find Spider-Man without his mask. And think what the shock will do to your dear old ass. Peter, are you in there? Betty, 
mean, Yeb? Don't come in. Why? What are you doing in there? Uh... Ready or not, here I come. Peter, are you in there? Betty, Yeb, don't come in. Why? What are you doing in there? That arc lamp. Maybe if I can turn it on... Ready or not, here I come. If I can just hit that arc lamp... Peter, I can't see. Turn it off. Not until the heat melts the goblin's freeze ray. Is this better? Oh, Peter. Now, don't go away. Ow! I can't see anything. Where are you? Over here. Oh, I found you. Oh, Peter, what muscles you have. No, I said over here. Ech! Oh, you practical joker. Well, you came here for my present. Where is it? Uh, gosh, I thought it was here. I must have left it at home. clue to the Green Goblin's next move here. memory helmet. He's here someplace. I wonder if this thing will work for me. Hey, that's me graduating from high school. For once I did something I'd make her be proud of. That's the time I ran into the lizard. Hey, that never happened.
for you to cling to. Farewell. <laughs> The city didn't turn the lake into a parking lot. <laughs> I suppose, me boyo, you realize it's a misdemeanor to swim in the lake. Well, faith in Begora. the night chasing Green Goblin, and I have to use Betty's present money to pay Spider-Man's fine. Ha Gracious, Peter. If you're catching a cold, you'd better stay in bed today. I'm fine, Aunt May. Just got caught in the rain last night. Oh! It didn't rain last night. Maybe the comic strips will cheer me up. What the fuck? <coughs> I expect Skinflint Jameson to save money on paper, but this is ridiculous. Is this some kind of joke? I said I wanted the Daily Bugle. Yesterday, Betty. You haven't seen anything, Mr. Jameson. Look down there. Oh, no. <laughs> it's happening everywhere. All my newspapers are crumbling to green dust. And everyone wants his money back. That's the last straw. Get me the police, the FBI, the CIA, somebody. Don't bother the boss now. He's wild. So what else is new? Destroying your precious newspaper. Are you a guy? Help! Help! How does it feel to lose, Jameson? Lose? J. Jonah Jameson? Never lose! Okay, Mr. Jameson, I've got you. Who asked you? That web spinner has more lives than a cat. This time, you used up your last one! <laughs> Got a newsflash for your next edition, Jameson! Not interested! Not even in Spider-Man's secret identity? I'm interested! And I think it's time to exit! No! What are you doing? Wait! Tell me, who is Spider-Man? Spider-Man is... Even the Green Goblin to that fate. There he is. Oh, thank heavens, it's you, Spider-Man. Thank heavens? Oh, wow. He's Osborn again. Osman. But where's the Green Goblin? 
It's a long story. Green Goblin? Who's that? I, I don't remember anything after the train wreck. You... you can't do this to me. Do you know who Spider-Man is? Of course I do. You do? Then tell me, tell me, who is he? He is. Can't argue with that. You can't do this to me. I've got to know. I was so close. How, how can this happen? It's not fair. It's not fair. Someone's got to tell me. I, I was so close. I was so close. So why, why me? Oh, did he? Oh, no, this has a go my day. Something wrong with old Foghorn? I haven't heard him all morning. Laryngitis. He lost his voice from yelling so much. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Uh, you remember your Halloween present? I certainly remember not getting one. ring. Now that had a nice ring to it. It's Spider-Man, the criminal. Correction, dear. It's Spider-Man, our hero. And we must thank him. Thank you, ma'am. I've got an aunt just like you. And I'm late to see her. Why don't you let me mellow out with the two for a few minutes? I'll look them over. And those are just a few of the incredible, amazing feats you'll see on Beyond Belief. By the way, folks, if you have a stunt that's beyond belief, you can win $50,000. Mm. Yes, These folks, bills are beyond belief. And I haven't got a chance of paying them. Oh, Peter, if I had a stunt, I'd just go on that show and help you with my bills. Aunt May, they're our bills, and I'll take care of them. Somehow, Spidey could go on that show and knock their socks off. If only it weren't so tacky. We interrupt beyond belief for this important local news announcement. Here is J. Jonah Jameson, president of the Jameson Network at his sumptuous Northport, Long Island estate. J. Jonah Jameson here. I'm holding a threatening note sent to my newspaper. Dear New York, tonight, 
the Clutman Diamond, and the Zinbook Urn will be stolen. Signed, the Triangle of Evil. The day has apparently come when criminals announce their theft before commitment. But our city will not be threatened. This is to warn the criminals that... And May, I'll just take these bills to my room and sort them out. Oh, dear. All right, Petey. Off to save the club and diamond. And I can't even pay my own bills. Isn't that a gem? <laughs> you don't want diamonds. They're so, so bright. <laughs> we'll squint. Not tonight, gentlemen. Hey, Spider-Man. Come on, let's split. I believe this is yours, sir. No need for thanks. Thanks? Look at this mess. Let's see. Let's see for the window and the two display cases. That's $15,000. Ah, I forgot to include a new silent alarm system. A bill? But, but... We'll talk about this later. I've got a date with a Zen Butt Urn. What's a Zen Butt Urn? Oh, about $5 a day. Sorry. Thank you, Mr. Clubman. Your diamond is safe now. Thank you, uh, uh, Mr. The stuntman will do. Better get your window fixed. I'd be glad to put it on a credit card, if you gentlemen prefer. <laughs> Everybody's a comedian. Come on, Mo. Let's get out of here. Great. No windows to break. Guess again, webhead. You again? Why don't we all form a club? Uh, <laughs> we already got one. Here, catch. Till we meet again, insect brain. <laughs> hey, what about me? Ah, thanks, Mr. Spider. Spider-Man. Whatever. Uh, does your mother know you go around dressed like that? If you don't tell, I won't tell. All right. Then here's the bill for the stuff you broke. $31,000? I can't afford this. Now your urn is safe. I hope so, Mr. Uh... Stuntman. These bills come to almost $50,000. And I thought I had money trouble earlier. If you have a stunt beyond belief, you can win $50,000. Yes, folks, $50,000 to the contestant. I'll do it. Spidey will get us all out of debt. Yes, this is Beyond Belief Productions. Can I help you? Just tell Mr. Schlocker the stuntman is here. Two tanks and a head-on collision. Fantastic, eh? Ah, it's been done to death. I need the stunt of the century. Or between us, we're through. What is it? Uh, is here. Unless he's got a blockbuster stunt, get rid of him. How's this for a blockbuster? Hey! I'm offering you the challenge of the century. Spider-Man versus me. Here, have him sign this. I guarantee he'll be here any time now. Why, you're Jack Rivet, the world's greatest stuntman. Whatever happened to you? I was playing the mechanical monster in a movie. Spider-Man caught me robbing the studio safe. I was about to escape when a bolt of lightning struck. It fused the robot outfit to my body. 
I became the monster half-man, half-machine you see before you now. I want Spider-Man to pay. So, what's with a Spider-Man challenge bit? Watch. I'll give you a free sample. That's just for openers. Say, Stuntman, you're on. Good, no window. Oh, no, not again. I'm here for the $50,000. Sign right here, my boy. Now can I have my 50000 Sure, right after the show. Oh, and uh, don't worry about the window. We'll take it out of your pay. Just be at the Palisades Cliffs at 10 tomorrow morning. That's, um, New Jersey. No, I thought the Palisades were in Philadelphia. Don't worry, I'll be there. Tomorrow you'll wish you were in Philadelphia. <laughs> Fraser, now where's Spider-Man? Time to rotate. Okay, what do you guys want? A couple of my best stunts? <clears throat> Not quite, Spider-Man. Next time, read the small print of the contract. Roll tape! Welcome to Beyond Belief. On today's show, a free stunt challenge of the century between the amazing Spider-Man and the Stuntman. Jack Rivet, my old enemy. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Neither would we. Stunt number one, scaling the cliffs of the Jersey Palisades. First man to the top wins. And there they go, folks. Climbed a cable, kid. Can't trust that gooey webbing. <laughs> My webbing. It's giving out. Okay, hold it right there, fellas. Time for a commercial. Mm. Now, this is what I call a real cliffhanger. What's the matter, kid? <laughs> you losing your grip? Luckily, I'm not just a web swinger. I'm also a wall crawler. Too much heavy metal, lead bottom? See you at the top. Some people never learn. It's a long way down. Gotta grab something. The first stunt is won by the Stuntman. Spider-Man, are you okay to go on? Yeah. Luckily, I broke the flow of my body. Oh. In a few moments, we'll take you to the World Trade Center for stunt number two. Stay tuned. Got it. <laughs> Take off! Welcome back to Beyond Belief. Our contestants are now halfway up stunt number two, each climbing one of the twin towers. They'll pass each other here on the tight wire. First one down the other side wins. Mo, Larry, quick, finish that dusting job. Klopman diamond is secure, boss. Instigation of Operation Lubrication. Boss, 
We're off to the Zenfoot Urn. Hey, Larry, what's a Zenfoot Urn? Will you stop? Coming through, fellas. Hey, Spidey, good luck. Speak for yourself. I got a 10 spot riding on Stuntman. No, slippery oil dust. I can't hold on. Good. That oil dust's working. Spider-Man's finished. Quick, wash that stuff off with your hose. Gotcha, Spidey. How could he do that? You can't keep a good man down, Bolt Bottom. Say, Uncle Meatball. Okay, Uncle! Okay, folks, watch how your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man does it. Spider-Man beats him to the bottom, winning stunt number two. Hmm. Even my blisters have blisters. Okay, over to the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. Let's go. The last stunt. My webbing's almost gone. Mo, Larry, come in. Progress report. Objective number two secured, stuntman. Triangle of evil on the move toward our third and biggest. Oh, boy. I am one tired fella. Trying to figure a way to slow this thing down. Two bold thugs, part of the triangle of evil, fulfilled their promise today and stole the Klopman diamond and the priceless Zenbud urn. Notes at both places promise a third theft. Nobody's gonna beat me three times. Let's see, first Klopman, then Abdeloni. Oh my gosh, J. Jonah Jameson's place is next. That's it. The stunt man set me up. He's keeping me busy here while his goons rip off the loot. It's tape time, Spidey. You're due out on the bridge. Right with you. I'm low on webbing. But all I've got to do, I'm going to need a refill cartridge. Say, how do you do that webbing stuff? Easy, I'll show you. I just push this button on my wrist. Okay, stand by to roll tape. Sorry, GS. Uh, it looks like Spidey gummed up the works. Hmm, somebody switched my web cartridge. If I'd use this, bye-bye, Spidey. I'm gonna take this out of your pay, Spider-Man. All right, everybody. Half-hour break. Jameson's estate, and time's running out. Third one accomplished, boss. Okay, Larry, up, up, and away! It can't be, but it is. Thank goodness there's no glass to break around here. Triangle of evil. Look, officer, those characters there are two points of the triangle. Get me to the Beyond Belief location, and I'll get you the third member. Okay, Schlocker. Spider-Man's a no-show. I win by default, right? There they are. Pull right up to the start. Ready when you are, stuntman. All right, first one across the bridge wins. Don't forget, this is the final stunt. Winner take all. Huh, winner take all? That's not what I... Hey! Hope Peter Parker's camera can get a few bonus bucks out of those action shots. 
Uh-oh, stuntman's moving out. This ought to stop him. What's that? I thought dirty tricks were my department. Yeah. New York traffic. Going down. He's got to come up to cross the finish line. That's really dirty. Tar! See at the dry cleaners, loser! What now, Spidey boy? Just about all out of webbing. A crane with a magnet. It's worth one last try. Stuntman's at least half metal. This should work. <laughs> it's all over but the shouting. Ah! Hey! I think I'll give him a big finish with the last of my webbing. See that? That whip hit one! But look at him! Tarred and feathered! Ho ho ho! I'd pay any price for a picture of that! You got it, guys? Have you got it? Irv, did you catch it all? No problem, GS. Uh-oh. Uh, maybe just one little one. The tape! There's nothing on the tape! I'm ruined! Well, that's showbiz, GS. <laughs> My money, please, Mr. Schlocker. Get out of here. No show, no money. Read your contract. Now, that really is showbiz. This is the most degrading shot of Spidey ever taken. This picture would destroy what's left of his image. No amount of money could change my mind. Here are the pictures I got of the big finish, J.J. Uh, and I need the money. Mm, not bad, kid. Not good, either. I'll pay the usual. Take it or leave it. But I pay ten, no, oh, no, twenty times that for a shot of Spider-Man tarred and feathered. Uh, J.J., almost forgot. Here's one more. Say now, that's more like it. Yes, that's real front page stuff. Oh, Peter, I'm so glad you were able to pay our bills. Did you see this? That terrible Spider-Man got his comeuppance. Look, look! I've seen it, Aunt May. I've seen it. Oh, boy, have I seen it.
last have you gone on? The last time we met, I let you get away, Dr. Doom. I won't make that mistake this time. And I'm sorry, you, you're doing such a good job, you fooled me. I mean, you really look like a bum. Oh. Uh, look, you're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. invited the world's leaders to Latveria, his tiny kingdom, in order to demonstrate his most recent scientific discoveries. Somehow, something still don't feel right. Yes, the new factory is beautiful, as long as one does not look too closely. As long as one ignores Dr. Doom's dungeons, we are all prisoners of Doom. It is my son, Johan. Dr. Doom is making a robot of my son. Now, would you look at that? Pumpkins, as big as an automobile. Magnifique. How is this possible? We grow them big in Texas, but my hat's off to you, sir. Thank you, Ambassador. Dr. Doom, so how about we talk turkey, so to speak? My government will pay a lot for this discovery. What do you say? One moment. My government will double his bid. We will triple it. We will discuss my terms later. Be afraid. Why would I be afraid? I 
only wanted to tell you how much we all love our leader. Long live Dr. Doom. Oh, sure. Thank you, Johan. ungrateful, but just what do you want for these discoveries of yours? Nothing. My discoveries are free for the benefit of all mankind. Mm. A magnanimous. I have to ask, have you forgotten what Dr. Doom did at the UN? How can we trust him? Uh, come to Cape Canaveral with me tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. Goron and Doom might have bamboozled the space people, but the press won't be taken in. Dr. Doom may be the greatest man who ever lived. Huh? Mm -hmm. This stuff is excellent. Mm. Splendid fellow, that Dr. Doom, giving this all away. There's got to be something in the food. This guy's really a hothead. You gotta get out of his line of sight.
course. The CO2 gas from the fire extinguisher should freeze these plants solid. Just right. Now to find a way to Cape Canaveral. certain how our new space platform can help feed the world, but NASA is anxious to do whatever it can. Dr. Doom was sure you'd feel that way. The conference room is right up ahead. I just hope we can get everything locked in before the platform's launched. JJ into sending me here to cover the launch. Now to see what that moron Goron is up to. Uh-oh, my spider sense is tingling. It's Goron in the computer room. I was expecting you, Spider-Man. for the space platform. I need them. Yeah, of course. There. Goron to Dr. Doom. Goron calling Dr. Doom. The secret launch code is A. Four. One chance. <laughs> 
missiles. It is only known to Doom and me. Destroy me, and the missiles will launch and end the world. Spider-Man doesn't bow to blackmail, skinhead. You need glasses. after two days. Drat! Just another of Dr. Doom's hollow promises. Just like the promises of certain photographers. We had a date last night, Peter Parker.
Spider Man. <laughs> What a nice peaceful morning. No robot killers, no mad fiends, just those wild bulls stampeding through the streets. What? Wild bulls? In New York? Spidey. These bulls are for the rodeo in Madison Square Garden. I, I guess I must have left the back of my truck open. Shucks, partner. That's why they call me the fastest web in the West. <laughs> You're great. But that was the worst imitation of John Wayne I ever heard. Mr. Wilson? Yeah, they were given to Buffalo Bill by the King of England himself. These little beauties are my pride and joy. Considering that your Wild West collection is valued at more than a million dollars, that's saying something. Little lady, there's no amount of money that could make me part with my spur. Still standing around gawking, Parker? Get those pictures down to developing, now! We have a deadline to meet. I'm on my way, Mr. Jameson. Oops. Sorry. Now you treat my babies gently. I want them to be in tip-top shape for the rodeo exhibit. But isn't the armored car supposed to deliver them to Madison Square Garden? The armored car is a decoy. It's done all the time. Thousands of dollars of jewelry carried all over town by subway, and nobody suspects. JJ, that's a great idea for a picture story. What are you talking about, Parker? Think of it. A fortune riding the subway, and nobody knows it. What a great human interest story. Nonsense. Uh, yes, I, I was thinking of that yesterday. Tell you what, take your camera, follow him, get me some pictures. Right, J.J. Uh, well, it, it's hard to get good help these days. Well, I gotta mosey along now. I'm late for a meeting. Oh, uh, don't forget, we're having lunch at my club at noon. on the track and a, and a masked man on a horse cowboys in the subway say 
They're right. They're coming for us. Don't worry, man. No way they can get in here. Slingers here. Looking for something, Spider-Man? When I'm finished with you, urban cowboys, you'll wish you were back on the range. We've hit. It's the end of the trail. We got what we came for. Back to the hideout. Well, if he's going to use old lines, up, up, and away. Spider-Man! This town's not big enough for both of us, Sidewinder. That's city property! So, I'm a taxpayer. get the scores to Wilson myself. No one can enter the publisher's club dressed like that. But I have to deliver this to Mr. Jameson's table in person. Impossible. How about if I wear a tie? Out! Out! Immediately! I don't like the way you dress either. All right, if I can't go through the front door... Wilson, you love the pheasant under glass, you hear? Well, just burn a hunk of cow for me. I'm a simple down-home boy. <laughs> With the biggest Western art collection in the world. And my own rodeo. Will there be anything else, gentlemen? My spurs? Where did you get them? A flying cowboy named Sidewinder tried to steal them. <laughs> you probably set the whole thing up just to get in here! Why, JJ, you spilled. Out! Get out! This is a gentleman's private club. Then how did you get in? Spider-Man, wait! I have to thank you. Please, come to my rodeo tomorrow night as a guest of honor. Thanks. I'll be there. Hmm. Guest of honor. Maybe my luck is finally changing. Uh-oh. One hundred dollars each place setting. I hope you carry insurance, Mr. Spider-Man. Wow. Who could ever ride that robot bull? 
Would you believe a robot cowboy? <laughs> hey, it was nice of Mr. Wilson to let you take pictures before the rodeo opens. Yeah, which means I'd better get busy. I'll see you back at the bugle. This must be where the rodeo clowns hang out. Hello, what's this? I think I found Sidewinder's hideout. Some of the clowns may be up to serious funny business. Here to give it a try, cowboy. I'm not a cowboy. For sure. But I need somebody to test old Betsy for me. Come on. Give it a try, kid. Betsy won't shake you up much. Boy, I've got to be out of my tree. Just what every cowboy needs. A little glue so he won't fall off. thing before it explodes. Hate to ride and run, but... Where is he? That was some ride you gave me. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you okay? I think so. But I'd like to borrow a pair of pants. <laughs> hey, mister! The museum's closed! Not a sidewinder, it ain't. <laughs> huh? Hey! This is going to look much better in my collection. Sorry, Betty, I was uh, thinking about Sidewinder. Don't worry, Peter. This is the last place he'd show up, especially with Spider-Man do his guest of honor. Oh, that reminds me. I'd better set up my shots. Hey, watch it. Mm. Hey, you I gotta see.
Let's just see who's under the mask. You? Part of the Sidewinder gang? <laughs> That's not funny. If you think I'm on Sidewinder's side, it sure is. Come on, follow me. This is where Sidewinder keeps his secrets. I had a duplicate key made, and it unlocked the secret of Sidewinder's identity. Wow, it sure did. But how did you get involved? My father was one of the owners of this rodeo until a crooked partner framed him and took it over. I vowed to put an end to that man, the one called Sidewinder. Uh-huh. But who is Sidewinder? He's... Don't you know better than to interrupt the lady? Your spider strength won't be much help while you're sleeping. Nightmare Spider-Man. Tie those two up until I decide what to do with them. We can hide the girl in here. Yeah, but what about him? These metal clamps on old Diablo ought to hold even a Spider-Man. I'm late. I had a few loose ends to tie up. But where's Spider-Man? Well, he's not here. We'll just have to go on without him. Turn on Diablo, the robot bull. Now you'll see some action. Well, with Spider-Man missing, I can really enjoy myself. Nobody will find him in here. Uh-oh. Diablo's been activated. We better bat moves fast. Absolutely right. And you stayed on Diablo the full time. You made a thousand dollars. 
house. If that's enough to pay for the broken dishes, this is my lucky day. Just one moment. The Daily Bugle put up that prize money, and you're not getting one penny of it. But he wrote Diablo. But he didn't sign an entry form. Mr. Jameson, I read your exclusive in the Daily Bugle. Spider-Man capturing the Sidewinder. Don't mention that web singer. My usual table. Mr. Jameson's table, please. Right away. Follow me, please. What? What's he doing here? Well, since you stopped me from getting the prize money, I'm paying off my debt to the Publishers Club by working here. Yes, Mr. Spider-Man will be with us for the next two weeks. Why, Mr. Jameson, is anything wrong? Mm -hmm. I've lost my appetite. You're out of debt, Mr. Spidey. <laughs> I've been wanting to get that grouchy old skinflint for years. Yeah, but you're talking about the grouchy old skinflint I love. happening today. Maybe I should drop in here at the bugle and web Jolly Jonah to his chair. I don't care what you think, Robertson. As publisher of the Daily Bugle, I decide how we spend our money. But Jonah, into the pockets of Craven the Hunter. Isn't he what's commonly known as a supervillain? Villain Schmillin. Craven's the best hunter in the whole blamed world. That's why I hired him. Hey, not that I want to put my web foot in or anything. But hiring a creep like Craven spells trouble with a capital K. Uh, the wall crawler! Get away from here, or I'll call the exterminator! I'm fed up with your hmm. stupid and Sometimes I get the feeling old Jameson doesn't get particularly what? like me. Oh well, I can sense where I'm not wanted. Craven's the only man on earth who can hunt down our new mascot. A creature that'll bring this newspaper millions of dollars in publicity. The last living saber to Tiger. But Jonah, isn't that Tiger Zabu, the companion of the jungle lord Kazar? You mean the wild man from the jungle? That's the one. You may be asking for a lot of trouble, J.J. Craven can handle it. Right now, he's somewhere down here, in the Antarctic region at the South Pole. It's an area protected from the outside world by a wall of volcanic mountains. The tropical lost jungle called the Savage Land. Enjoy your meal, Sabertooth. It'll be your last in the Savage Land. And while you eat, I'll mix a new batch of my mystic potion. The secret herbs that give me my super jungle power. Ah, the power to stop a child. 
charging rhino and the speed to outrun the swiftest panther. Worthy foe, Sabertooth. But if I'm to earn my fee, you must be vanquished now. tranquilizer gas to quiet you and my mechanical cage to hold you should you try to escape <laughs> do not struggle try to swim with the tar Be thankful I didn't bring Zabu along. He might have had you for his dinner just when you are needed at home. And now I must return to my own family, my blood brother Zabu. Zabu, where are you? A hunter. A struggle. strong old friend where you go Kazar follows take me as far as you can Thunderwing to the farthest reaches of the jungle I still feel uneasy about this whole thing Mr. Jameson especially with Craven the hunter involved so do I Mr. Jameson if you two don't keep quiet you'll feel even more uneasy waiting in the unemployment line ah! There comes Craven, right on schedule. And here's the second half of your fee, Mr. Craven. As we agreed, paid on delivery. That's enough to cover your taking care of the beast until I figure out exactly how to make use of him. Oh, imagine me, the humble publisher of the Daily Bugle, the owner of the only living saber-toothed tiger. Oh, Mr. Craven, you're incredible. Remember that, Mr. Jameson, and never forget it. Some hunter has to use an electrified cage. I hope that Shane is... Uh-oh. Peter! The chain's breaking! Peter? All right, Parker, get a shot for posterity. And don't forget to take off your lens cap. Parker! Parker! you, Parker. This little kitty won't bite you. Where the devil is he? Come on, Betty. This is a job for Craven. Tiger fall to the man with the strength of a bull gorilla. Or would you believe the proportionate strength of an itsy bitsy spider? The web crawler. That human bug here? If anyone starts singing Hold That Tiger Owl, uh oh. My eyes itch. Feels like I'm gonna. <laughs> Just my luck. I'm allergic to saber-toothed tigers. Mr. Craven, do something! <laughs> I am! <laughs> I'm enjoying the show! <laughs> Me too! That webhead showing his true colors! <laughs> and they're all yellow! <laughs> Can I just be allergic to ragweed like everyone else? We could have at least said Gesundheit. <laughs>
You suppose it's safe now? Well, they say Spidey's web can hold just about anything. I got it. Ought to be a swell shot, J.J. <laughs> We ought to be landed in New York in just a few more minutes. Hey, come on back to the cargo section. <laughs> we got ourselves a little surprise there. See? A stowaway. Well, we know how to deal with stowaways. Nothing, not even these polluted city skies, will keep me from finding Zabu. Hey, what's going on? Nothing unusual, just your standard colossal traffic jam. More than that. Something's making my spider sense tingle. Uh-oh, Betty. Out of tissues. Gotta get some more. Uh, quick. What? <laughs> if that's a surfer, somebody ought to tell him Malibu's on the other coast. <laughs> but I really dig his hair. Scram, nature boy! You're holding up traffic! What is that? So I said to Ethel, Ethel, I said... <laughs> animals are not for decoration. Oh! Zabu! Where are you, Blood Brother? Hey, watch where you're going! Hey, man! Zabu! Zabu! You want to rumble, nature boy? You almost puzzled my hog. None may seize the arm of Kazar. Hold it right there, wild man. We're taking you in, and you can pick out any charge you like. No, you'll not cage me like an animal. What are we chasing? A chimpanzee? It's Kazar. Hey, you nutcats, you read? That old building's condemned. It's gonna be torn down. I knew Jameson was buying trouble when Craven catnapped that saber tooth. Hey, look, it's Spider-Man. Maybe they're in cahoots. Keep this crowd back. Could be trouble. Hey, Kazar. Where'd you go? It's just me, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. So, now even the famous Spider-Man would keep me from my blood brother. Hey, you got me all wrong, friend. We shall see. <coughs> Kazar is mightier than any costume wearer. Okay, you're strong. Now can't we just talk this over before... Uh, before... Before the whole building goes crashing down! If you're really the swinger they say you are, Kazar, come on! Geronimo! In America, this is what's called having a ball. Uh-oh, let's not get blamed for wrecking the building. So I came after you, to keep you from getting into trouble here in the Big Apple. Why should I get into trouble? Those who stole my tiger friend, Zabu, they will get into trouble. There, there is Zabu. Hey, Jonah Jameson doesn't see anybody without an appointment. Better make sure he doesn't get lost in the big city. I'll plant one of my handy-dandy spider tracers on him. Wild man now.
now positively identified as Kazar of the Savage Land, created panic in the streets of Manhattan. Authorities urge all citizens to... So the legendary Kazar has come to the concrete jungle. And only you and I know why. Zabu. Yes, there is more money to be made and more dangerous prey to hunt. And you will be the bait, Zabu. Bait for my traps. I believe we're ready for the most elusive game of all. <laughs> Don't you know you can't come into a man's office unannounced and undressed? Get out! Get out! Before I have you arrested for indecent exposure. I am Kazar, and I have come for Zabu. Zabu? Why, I didn't know that big cat belonged to you. Look, Mr. Kazar, of course you'll have to prove ownership. Hey, put me down! No one owns Zabu. He is my companion, my blood brother. Uh, Jameson here? This is Craven the Hunter. I have a proposition to make, Jameson. It involves Kazar. Do you know who he is? Uh, we've met. Think of the publicity you'll get, Jameson, if I capture a legendary jungle lord for you. And I'll accomplish this feat at no charge. No charge? Oh, Mr. Craven, I'll, I'll help bring him right over. Yes. Yeah. Was Craven, who captured Zabu? Kazar, my boy, I'll lead you right to him. But, but Uncle Jonah, I don't even like animals. Why didn't you bring Peter Parker instead? Because last time, Parker blew it. And I need a reliable, absolutely professional photographer to get the pictures of Kazar's capture. Uh, Kazar's reunion with Zabu. Oh. There it is. Craven's Lair. Paid for in part by Daily Bugle Funds. With that spider tracer on Kazar, I can follow him from here to Timbuktu. It's us, Mr. Craven. We're here with Kazar. We can still get home in time for dinner. Not when there's work to be done. Hey, there's nobody here. Only my handy-dandy spider tracer. Got to find them. Uh, Miss Brandt? Where did I say I was going? Why, to Craven's lair, Mr. Jameson. Thanks, sweetie. So, friends, welcome to my little retreat. Zabu! As for you, Jameson, you pompous jackal, you've really taken the bait. Why, what do you... Don't argue with him, Uncle Jonah. Let's just get out of here. Mortimer, come back here. Mortimer! Let's just say I want an audience when I hunt down the savage Kazar. But what if Kazar captures you first, Hunter? You disappoint me, Jungle Lord. I hoped you'd be more of a challenge. Zabu, 
Babu's here for sure. Uh, uh, it's Spider-Man. I'll hunt you down along with Kazar. I'll add that ridiculous mask of yours to my trophy collection. Hi, Craven. Wouldn't have anything for an allergy, would you? Try my friend there. We'll sneak out of here while Craven takes care of the wall crawler. Okay, but hurry, Uncle. Since it's hard to scratch and sneeze and fight all the same time, why fight? Great Hunter, now it's just the two of us. That's the way I prefer it, Spider-Man. Bullseye! Any more neato tricks, Cravey? Only one. <laughs> you know, maybe coming here wasn't... <laughs> Such a great idea after all. Just a little more. No, impossible. Hate to disappoint you, pal. What? What are you going to do to me? Me? Nothing. But Kazar and Zabu? They might have something in mind. Right now, I'm more interested in this Warlitzer of yours. There. That officially closes Craven Country Safari. aren't supposed to speak that well. Spiders aren't supposed to speak at all. Well, what are you clowns? Get us out of here! Say please. Well, what good's a saber-toothed tiger anyway? You've seen one, you've seen them all. Peter, isn't it odd? Both you and Spider-Man are allergic to saber-toothed tigers. Yeah, and that's the only thing they have in common. <laughs> well, I guess that's better than nothing.
waited till the convention this afternoon. Maybe he doesn't want anyone else stealing his thunder. Parker, take some pictures. What am I paying you for? Pay? You mean I get paid? Not necessarily. Gotcha. Joshua. Oh, <laughs> Dr. Norton. How many times must I tell you to stay out of the lab? But, but, but Dr. Not now. The press is waiting. Ha. Ah, big shots. They'll soon see who the real genius is. I have invited the press here for an advanced look at what may be one of the greatest inventions of the century. The world's first diminishing ray. This I've got to see. All right, Smedley. This adjustment's tricky. I'm not gonna make him too small. The press may now take the before pictures, as in before and after. What's the matter? Run out of film? You're frightening that poor animal, Mr. Jameson. Look at it. Don't worry, that cage is plenty strong. All right, that's enough. Save your film for the after shot. Release him. Ah! It's coming out! Get behind me. Congratulations, Norton. That's more than incredible. This is really happening. Parker, get those pictures to the bugle right away. A couple more, just in case, Mr. Jameson. Don't want to lose our tiny pet. <coughs> this afternoon at the International Inventors Convention, I will complete my demonstration by restoring this lion to his normal size. The demonstration is over! Now! Joshua! Cheer, cheer! The Gadgeteer is here! Cheer, cheer, the Gadgeteer is here! The inventor's inventor! The scientist's scientist! The weirdo's weirdo! Uh, he's uh, just our janitor! Don't touch that, you puppy! Thank you, Dr. Norton, for your invention! You can't get away with that! Call the guards! You are powerless before the gadget here! You 
have just begun to experience the expertise and extraordinary inventiveness of Gadgeteer. What do you do for a finish? The war crawling wimp. Hate to bring such a diabolical career to an end, but you know how it is with diabolical careers. What? A little slow today, webhead? But it's time I cut you down to size. <laughs> I don't believe this. <laughs> so long, spider shrimp. He's gone. And so's my diminishing ray. I'm getting the police. What a story. Come on, Parker better have those pictures. This is weird, even for me. What am I gonna do now? Two inches tall? You look like Jaws. What if it never wears off? The only jobs I could ever get would be on wedding cakes. If anybody ever tells me it's a small world, have I got news for them. Gotta turn this ray around somehow and call Aunt May so she won't worry. Oh, wow. It's a King Kong kitty. Look, I don't want to hurt you, but I don't want to be a kitty cat snack either. <laughs> hey, who's hurting who? about being small, nobody bothers you. Much. Oh, yeah. Gotta call Aunt May. But I need a dime. Sure, that's subway grading. Aha! I've heard of inflated money before, but this is ridiculous. Big number. Hello. Hello. 
Whoa, Aunt May, what a big voice you have. Aunt May, this is Peter. Hello. Is anyone there? Aunt May, it's me, Peter. Hmm, must be a bad connection. Can you hear me? Is anyone there? Is this a prank? I know. I need a megaphone. And May, it's me. Don't hang up. No good vandals. Leave the phone off the hook. Tear the phone book. Good. Betty left a piece of paper and a typewriter. Betty, tell Aunt May I'm staying overnight with a friend, Peter. Now, where did he go? I demand to see Jameson. Uh, over there. But, but... Jameson, what are you trying to do? Ruin me? Huh? You won't let me advertise my products in your silly newspaper. How can I sell them? This paper will not have anything to do with promoting web-headed, wall-crawling toys. These are not toys. They represent the latest in space-age technology. Watch. That's too much. They can do anything Spider-Man can do. Watch. Exactly like Spider-Man. Uh-huh. And that's exactly what I don't like about him. Hey! Uh, uh, it's not supposed to do that. Uh, now it's out. And so are you out. Out, out, out! You're going to hear from my lawyers. Out! Out of my office! Now! Smoke. The alarm. Why didn't it go off? Gotta be an override switch. Here it is. It's vibrating too hard. Can't hold on. The smoke. <laughs> I can't see. Smoke detectors installed. Futuristic microchip computer to be unveiled at the International Inventors Convention. Now that's something Gadget here just won't pass up. Swinging is hard work for a tiny tot. What I need is a little help. And the wind is blowing just right. Hey! Come back! Lots of great gadgets in there. Cream of the crop. Them. When they look at me, all they see is a janitor. Well, look again, dopes. It's me, the fabulous 
gadgeteer. The only way to fly. Whoops, there's the convention below. goes up, must come down. Only not so fast! Gadgeteer's gotta be gimmicking around here someplace. Stop meaning like this. Uh oh, my spidey sense is tingling. There's something going on in that computer. Pretty aggressive mice around here. Two more wires and you're mine. But we're not even engaged. You again! Just can't keep your friendly neighborhood Spider Man down. Find the fuse box. A little traction. The plug comes out. And the lights go out. And now to put the lights out on the gadgeteer. The opening can't be getting bigger. It's me. I'm I'm getting smaller. an inch. If I can't find the ray in reverse, it's Spider-Man will be Spider-Molecule. Just a little thing I picked up at the convention, web brain. This is no toy. You're finished. Seems to me I've heard those words before. See in numbers, they always say. Shh! Don't anybody say a word. Hmm. Which is the real webhead? Hiding place for gadgets here. Hey! Phew! 
Lucky I landed on something soft. This looks familiar. Too familiar. It's a spider web. And the lady of the house is at home. The Black Widow. I hope she realizes I'm not a relative. Black Widows have a nasty habit of eating their husbands. Uh, nice lady. Go away. Please. I'm really stuck. My only chance. A spiderweb slingshot. She was putting on too much weight anyway. Now for Gadgeteer. I'll get back to normal size, and then Spider-Man, watch out. It's my turn in the spotlight, mister. No! had a busy day. I think this belongs to you. The miniaturizing ray. Thank goodness, but what about the man who stole it? Joshua, the gadgeteer. But, but why did you do it, Joshua? Why? Because you never listened to me. You never listened to me. What did he say? You've reached a depth of 1,053 feet. Attach the transistor antenna to the sunken gold ship. Now my powerful little box will take over my remote control. Thank you, Spider-Man. You have just helped Professor Gizmo, master criminal, recover the world's largest sunken treasure. I no longer need your help. Farewell, has been. works perfectly. Now I need the real Spider-Man, for only he is strong enough to withstand the undersea pressure. Now to set the trap to catch a web spinner. A big party on the boss's million dollar yacht and I gotta go get my date and take her to the pier by subway. Okay folks, let's have all your money and goodies and nobody will get hurt. Come on, now! Maybe if I ignore them, they'll be nice muggers. Young man, that is my purse! I was afraid of that. Hey, that guy! Dad, forget it! 
no place he can hide, eh? We'll save him for last. I hope the tux is wrinkle-proof. Here he goes. Hey, it's Spider-Man! Expecting <laughs> Captain Kangaroo? Love to spend more time with you fellas, but I see you're hung up tonight. Gather up your goodies, friends. Hey, what's going on? They're all yours, mister. Just in time. This is my stop. My mask. Well, I sure won't need it at JJ's yacht party. Wow, a Halloween mask for the kid. Better yet, a hairnet for my wife. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Jonas Whale for our annual Diamond for the Deprived charity cruise. My helpers will now pass among you with baskets for your diamonds and jewelry. But, boss, don't you want pictures of the donations? You got enough pictures. Get the donations. JJ, you've got my camera. Excuses, excuses. That's all I get. The nation and the world were stunned today by the bizarre robbery at sea involving what was believed to be the historic monitor. What was once called the Yankee cheese box on a raft rose from the bottom of Chesapeake Bay, where it was sunk some 100 years ago. Rats. My monitor caper didn't draw flies, let alone Spider-Man. But this one will. When the Smithsonian Museum loses the Lindbergh plane, the spirit of St. Louis. But first, the diversion. What the? What's happening? The tanks, look! Where are they going? Nobody's in them! I'm standing here near the Smithsonian Museum as two tanks slowly circle it. Meanwhile, the entire Washington Military Corps is standing by. Gotta get to Washington. Fast. And cheap. The military may not be able to move in, but Spidey can. Sir, you on the ceiling? You can't board this plane without a ticket. Don't worry. I promise I won't get in the plane. <laughs> wouldn't get in the plane. Stewardess, th there's a man with a mask on looking at me from outside of this window. Oh, I think you've had enough, sir. Well, I can't waste any more time. I'll activate the spirit of St. Louis. Look, the engine's starting, and there's no one in it. Hey, is this part of the tour? I thought no one there. It's another monitor job. At last, he's here. This time I'll get some pictures for Jameson. Stop! You are surrounded by the United States Army, Navy, and Marines. And the Air Force is on its way. Well, as long as I'm not outnumbered. it better if you try, Parker. The wall crawler looks like a perfect fool. Don't I know it? First the diamonds, now the plane. Who is the 
unknown thief, and how is Spider-Man tied in? I'm gonna run this picture every day until I get the answers! Hey, look! Those trains are out of service! But they're moving! The subway system will be clogged for hours, while I unclog several of the larger vaults and seats around New York. Hey, you know, it seems funny. Nobody coming up from that subway station. You got yourself in plenty of... Yeah, what's that? Your truck is taking off down the street without you, Zip. Oh, that's funny. Very fu... Hey, what's going on? Hey! company pay their bill? Fun City, my foot. Face it, the Big Apple's right. Master Control. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Look, no time for trick-or-treaters, pal. Just a minute. You're the real article. Recognize him? Spider-Man. Need a hand, guys? What we need is a bulldozer. All the trains are stuck. Hmm. If that one car was moved, then all the others could move. Sure, but how do we move it? I thought you'd never ask. Hey, where are you going? No place special, just got me a train to move. So, my little subway game was spoiled by Spider-Man. Well, it's time to play my trump card. First to stash the goodies. Once again, the mad, mysterious force has struck. Whoever's behind these bizarre crimes is able to control anything with an engine. The mysterious Spider-Man seems to be connected with at least two of the crimes. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, Spider-Man is behind these crimes. Do so you think that's fair, Jonah? Fair? Don't give me fair. I'm out over a million for my charity. I want it back. And I want Spider-Man in jail where he belongs. I think Robbie's right, J.J. Who asked Robbie? And where have you been? I was stuck in a subway. Ah, I've had it with excuses. I want to know who's behind these crimes. Wonder if that might be your answer. We'll trade all loot for Spider-Man tomorrow, noon, Herald Square. Professor Gizmo. Professor, Professor Gizmo. Gizmo. Ah, somebody's pulling our leg. Guess again. Well, that's Lindy's plane, all right. But how do we know Gizmo will really give the loot back? It's obvious. He and Spider-Man are in this together. But if they're not, tomorrow Spider-Man will be taking a terrific risk just showing up. Two minutes to twelve. Where's Spider-Man? And where's Parker? Parker's out taking pictures, Chief. Haven't seen. Uh, hold it. Look. The insect. Okay, Chuckles. Here I am. I'll make the trade. But not until I'm sure the stolen goods are returned. Gosh, Mr. Jameson, I didn't know there was a Spider-Man balloon in this parade. What Spider-Man balloon? Holy mackerel! Gee, that is the nicest thing anyone ever did for me. gas but my mask must be acting like a filter oh no my balloon
<laughs> I've got you, Spider-Man. I knew you'd be caught up in your own image. This is one ego trip you'll never forget. Okay, okay. Now tell me the bad news. No way, Gizmo. Me help you? Are you kidding? All you have to do is dive down to the El Conquistador and attach this little transistor antenna. My gizmo box will do the rest. That's over a thousand feet. What makes you think I could stand the pressure? Come, come, Spider-Man. Stop stalling. We both know an ordinary spider can go much deeper than man. He creates his own diving bell out of webbing. With your spider power, it'll be no problem. Okay, but don't tell me your little gizmo box can lift the ship from way down there. I'll prove it. I used to work with the famous scientist Richard Robbins himself, that rotten thief. He took dozens of my brilliant inventions. One night, we were working late in the lab on this very... It's time to test the box. Will you as this obsolete robot? Ah, my dear faithful Gizmo, this day I become the most famous inventor in history. Ah, you'll always have my gratitude. Wrong, Dicky Boy. My turn. No, Gizmo. No. Ah! He's safe. Somewhere. I'll return the loot and you'll help me, Spider-Man. And the box will work. We're on our way right now. We drop anchor here, Spider-Man, and you start your descent to my fortune. I told you, no deal until I have proof you return the goods. Would you believe it if J. Jonah Jameson tells you it's been returned? Well, he's no George Washington, but try me. Jay Jonah Jameson here, president of Jameson Television Network. This is an on-the-spot report of the raising of the El Conquistador by Professor Gizmo and his notorious assistant, Spider-Man. You're seeing the world-famous spirit of St. Louis returning to the Smithsonian. Earlier, the diamonds were returned. All so that Spider-Man would aid this legal salvage operation. But I'm betting both those crooks were in it from the beginning. There you have it, Spider-Man. I've kept my end of the deal. Now it's your turn. And uh, <laughs> remember, all the world is watching. I ought to have my head examined. Prepare for descent. Our cameras are watching Spider-Man create a diving bell. The type only spiders make. Now he's attaching a lifeline web to Gizmo's equipment. Let's get it over with! Might as well get some shots while I'm down here. A remote camera is following Spider-Man's actions below the sea. You're now at 800 feet, Spider-Man. Do you see the cave? Yeah, there it is. But something's moving. Uh-oh, an octopus. And a big one. Just my luck, he thinks I'm his girlfriend. Gotta get out of this! Thanks for the luck, but this is ridiculous. I'm 
activating the ship now. But you'll have to guide it out. Grab hold of the rudder. Come on, come on, take her on up. Spider-Man, you didn't really think I was going to give the government half a billion. Thank you for your help, Web Slinger. I don't need you anymore. He's cut Spider-Man loose! I expected some kind of double-cross, but why'd it have to be on television? Good thing I'm not bashful. Air's running out and... Oh... I haven't got enough troubles. I'm an accessory to the theft of the century and now bait for Jaws 3. Take a look at this, folks. A great white shark is heading directly towards Spider-Man. No, wait! It's heading toward our television cameras! We lost the underwater cameras. My gosh, a video appetizer. And he's still hungry. But dumb. Fighting on the half shell. No thanks. Webbing, do your job. Running out of air. Heading that away, baby. That's it. Go after the big, delicious boat. Close enough. Here's where I get off, big fella. This works. A gizmo for the gizmo. I've done it. I've raised the largest sunken treasure in the world. It's mine. All mine. Amazing! Fantastic! The Spanish ship has surfaced, and Gizmo has claimed it as his own! But where's Spider-Man? <coughs> Made it! And there's Gizmo. He jumped on the El Conquistador, just as I planned it. Think like a fish, I'll be next. Quick, follow that gold. In a submarine, JJ, maybe. In a helicopter, no way. Then, then follow that shark. And go Spidey down the drain. JJ, we can't leave Spider-Man behind. Why not? But he's being pulled under by the whirlpool. JJ, you saving Spider-Man's life. Think what a story that'll make. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> ah, he's going under again! Boss, you're on TV. Live. Now. Risking our own lives. We're descending to save that poor criminal's life. <laughs> this makes me a hero. Closer! Closer! I can't believe it. But I'll force myself. Hey, this is worth everything! Get a shot of this, Robbie! I'm a hero! Got the camera all set, Jonah. Do I have to touch him? Say, not bad, Robbie. <laughs> Better than you, Parker. Uh, sorry I wasn't around, JJ, but I promise you one thing. I'll be there the next time you save Spider-Man's life. Yeah, you'd better be. What? The next time? The next time? <laughs> <laughs> the next time, I'll drop him. <laughs>
Spider-Man. together. you ordered. But how did you get permission to return to New York, Master? Through the efforts of a pompous, misguided fool. It's free enterprise. And I'm not gonna let some blasted government bureaucrat tell me how to run my business. But Dr. Doom... Will be my guest on my private estate on Long Island. He's the head of state of an officially recognized country. There's nothing you can do about it. He's dangerous, Mr. Jameson. I just hope you know what you're doing. Don't I always. you're making such a fuss. <laughs> but it's only fair, Aunt May. You always bring me chicken soup when I'm sick. Oh, that's what ants are for, dear. Oh, I wish Cousin B could come up from Florida and help out for a few days. I know how much schoolwork you have. Why don't you visit Cousin B in warm, sunny Florida? Mm, it would be nice. But, you know, we simply can't afford it, dear. Don't you worry, Aunt May. 
I'll find a way. <laughs> now, don't worry about me, dear. You just hurry to your class. Don't want to be late. Oh, Petey, don't forget to wear your heavy coat and galoshes. <laughs> you know how fragile you are. <laughs> Scientist predicts earthquake for New York City. Hey, Professor Erwin Potts claims to have discovered a new earthquake fault off the coast of New York. Other scientists laugh at his discovery. This will be great for my geology class. And speaking of class, I'd better swing into high gear or I'll be late again. That's what could happen if a major earthquake were to hit New York City. Of course, there aren't any major earthquake faults around here. Professor Higgins, what about today's reports of a new fault? No real scientist takes anything Professor Potts says seriously. Why, the man's a crackpot. Always has been a real wacko. I wonder about that. Doom's jet, right on time. Why is it so cold down here? Uh, the heat went out in the whole building. I'll bet Jameson is warm enough out there on his Long Island estate with Dr. Doom. Doom? Here in New York? Yes, it was Jameson's idea. He heard that Dr. Doom has an amazing new machine. Doom claims it can bore a hole right down to the Earth's core. Then Jameson plans on selling the heat from the center of the Earth to the city. How long is all this gonna take, Doom? Dr. Doom, I would not advise you to repeat that error. Sure, I know what you mean. I hate it when some people call me J.J. J.J.? Yeah, what do you... Parker! Mr. Robertson sent me to take pictures. Get in, huh? Well, just don't get in the way. There goes my spider sense. Professor Potts' earthquake fault is right under J.J.'s estate. Parker, quiet! We've got work to do. Go take pictures. Uh, right, J.J. Don't call me! Behold! Yes. Might as well get some pictures of me and my laughing boy together again. If Doom's boring machine hits the earthquake fault, it's bye-bye New York. It's the wall crawler! Yes, I've been expecting him. Dr. Dole, that was my rose garden. Somebody's got to stop you while there's still time. Never. What Dr. Doom wishes, Dr. Doom does. And now, to end your mindless meddling once and for all, just as dogs and other animals are affected by ultra-high-pitched sounds, so are spiders. Oh! Prepare for the final chord. What the... Who places is going on? It started. The earthquakes have begun. Fine. Frown.
sounds too soft. I've been in tight spots before, but hey, that gives me an idea. I get the feeling that's a shortcut to China. There. It's a long shot, but it's my only chance to get out of here. laser cannon will melt through the earthquake fault. When that happens, all of New York will begin to crumble and slowly slip into the sea. My house! Turn it off! You're ruining my house! Get the President of the United States on the phone. He fixes houses? Food. Wait, bring him to me. He says, you saved a worker from the guard's whip. Is this a trick? Why would I resort to trickery? You're already a prisoner. What do I gain by deceiving you? You can't blame me for being suspicious. No, but come. We must hurry. Wait. If you are really with us, prove it. Let me hear you say it. Tell me that Dr. Doom is a tyrant and must be overthrown. I... I have spent my life serving Latveria. Say it! You have spent your life serving a tyrant. Come, quickly! You're wrong about Dr. Doom. He too was a freedom fighter, just as you are. In those days, Latveria was ruled by a different tyrant, the Baron. Fight! Why must we always run, Father? We can fight them. Always ready to fight, no matter the odds. Just like your poor mother. She would be alive today if not for... Victor Von Doom and his father the next morning, nearly frozen to death. <laughs> they have murdered my mother, and now they have killed my father. They will pay. All of mankind shall pay for this. 
Even then, I had the uneasy feeling it wasn't young Victor Von Doom who would need my protection. The gypsy's medicine cured my headache, but my hair, my hair! Gypsy, he sold me dust, not gold. Get him! Fool! Did you really think Victor Von Doom could be captured so easily? Uh, uh, it's a life-size doll. A, a robot. And so the legend of the strange young gypsy grew until... Victor, a stranger to see you. Hello, I'm Dean Stockton of Eastern State University in America. And I'm prepared to offer you a full science scholarship. Victor used the college used its modern scientific equipment to conduct strange, forbidden experiments. Hey, Vic, I've been going over some of your notes, and I'm afraid you're a couple of decimal points off on some of your figures. Out! I have no time for you. Okay, find out for yourself. At last, his experiments ended abruptly. What have I done to myself? My face, it is hideous. And so, Victor Von Doom hid from the world, taking refuge with the mysterious order of monks. Here he became Dr. Doom. A fascinating story, but it changes nothing. Doom must be stopped. I fear you're right, my friend. Here, this is the address of friends in New York. They'll help. The President of the United States is on the phone. Mr. President, in less than 10 minutes, a massive earthquake will strike New York City unless you're prepared to meet my terms. It is time you learned once and for all, Dr. Doom. The United States does not barter with terrorists. Well, Mr. Secretary, our intelligence reports were correct. Doom's cannon on the Jameson estate must be destroyed. with web fluid, the laser cannon will shut down. Tracking indicates target dead ahead. Uh-oh, here comes the cavalry. If Doom doesn't get me, the good guys will. Only one thing left to do, attack head-on before the jets fire their rockets. No! Fire all rockets in 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7... Thank you. 
my mansion. My beautiful mansion. If it weren't for Spider-Man, none of this would have happened. I don't believe what I just heard. Oh, brother. In a day, the cannon can be repaired. It's vital we ship it to the Space Center in Florida at once. It must be on the new space platform when it is launched next month. It's time for hot chocolate. With double chocolate, just like you wanted. Well, Parker... I want you to know it's swell of you to let me stay here while my mansion's being repaired. My pleasure, J.J. After all, if you hadn't bought those pictures I took of Spidey fighting Dr. Doom, Aunt May couldn't have gone to Florida to visit her cousin. Don't mention the name of Spider-Man to me ever again. And where's the tiny marshmallows, Parker? You said there'd be tiny marshmallows. <laughs> and I thought you hated masked crime fighters more than spinach. Get this, Parker. Cap isn't a masked menace like that Spider-Man weirdo. He's a real American hero. Maybe the greatest hero this nation has had since Herbert Hoover. Oh, well, I remember Cap. Back during World War II. And how he almost won the war single-handedly. Why, Jonah, you sound like Cap was a boyhood idol of yours. He still is, Robbie. All of you, let's go to the screening room. The legend of Captain America. The world was being torn apart by a great global war. The United States needed a hero, an invincible super soldier. And that hero appeared in a star-spangled costume. His name, Captain America. His deadliest foe, the monstrous Red Skull. Then, in 1945, the war's end. There was a fateful explosion, which hurled Captain America's unconscious body into the sea. There, he was frozen. 
frozen alive, remaining in a state of suspended animation. Until many years later, the ice finally melted and Captain America returned to renew his struggle for justice and liberty. Fantastic. But, Mr. Jameson, we all know how great Captain America is. Precisely, Ms. Brent. Which is why all of New York will turn out for the special day I conceived, Captain America Day. Captain, Captain America, America Day? Why, I can't think of anyone, except maybe that Weasley wall crawler, who wouldn't come out to honor Captain America. You may enter, Dr. Neiman. The machine is completed, Haskell. But again, I must protest its use. And for the last time, Doctor, I warn you against protesting anything that concerns the Red Skull. Be grateful. I allow someone as weak and unsightly as yourself to live. Even if it is only to serve me by inventing ingenious gadgets. Yes, Heskull. Devices which I shall utilize, Dr. Neiman, in my final and glorious defeat of my accursed foe, Captain America. And it will occur upon that day when Captain America is to be honored. Fitting, is it not? Yes, Heskull. Shall I fetch your weapons, master? Yes. But first, comb your hair. Your lack of grooming is intolerable. What a day! Sure makes you proud to be an American. Yes, sir. Now get out there, Parker, and take some great pictures of Cap and me together. Great. Uh, but you better practice your smile, J.J. Uh, oh, right. Mr. Jameson, publisher of the Daily Bugle. Yes, but if you want an autograph, I'm... I'm very busy, Red. Funny, isn't it? Captain America puts on a mask, does his thing, and even old prune-faced Jameson loves him. But when a guy like Spider-Man does the same thing, people call him a menace. Why, Peter, you sound like Spider-Man's press agent. People, people of New York. York, in this age of newly awakened patriotism, it is my honor and privilege to officially open our first, but not last, Captain America Day. Uh-oh. According to my spider sense, we've got trouble. And now... Here's the man we've all been waiting for, the living legend of World War II, the star-spangled adventure, Captain America! But, Peter, I brought along lots of film. Mr. Jameson, people of New York, I appreciate, but really don't deserve, this great honor. For once, I agree, you sanctimonious patriotic swine. What? That voice. You're not Jameson. Who's that? Hardly. It's the Red Skull. Where'd he come from? Everyone. Keep back. I'll handle the Red Skull. Indeed. This battle must be waged by just the two of us. So allow me to disperse this rabble. Get out of here! And now, you star-spangled fool! Surprises, madman. Now's my chance to show that Spidey's no biker when it comes to heroics. An old weapon this time, Captain. Gas. <laughs> Hey, 
what the blazes is going on here? You'll have to do better than that, Skull. Heads up, people, it's bargain day. Two masked do-gooders for the price of... Spider-Man. Thank you, Webhead. Now sleep while you can, Captain America. Your nightmare is just beginning. Oh. Anybody get the number of that Sherman tank? Uh-oh. My spider tracer will track him. So, you can run away from us, traitor, but you can't run away from the truth. Do you hear me, Spider-Man? Read it in the bugle, how Spider-Man helped the Red Skull capture Captain America. Read all about it. And now we know that Spider-Man isn't simply a masked criminal. He's also a cowardly turncoat, a sellout. And the worst traitor since Benedict Arnold. Hey, where are you going with your Spider-Man collection? Sitting around moping isn't doing any good. I've got to find Cap. It's a good thing I planted one of my handy-dandy spider tracers on his shield. Look! There he is! There's that miserable wall crawler! Go back where you came from, you creep! At least old glory hasn't turned against me. you wouldn't listen. Spider-Man was jealous of Captain America. Maybe without realizing it, Spider-Man wanted Cap to be captured. Well, I'm no psychologist, Peter, but I know there's only one way for Spider-Man to clear himself. Yeah, but how can Spidey rescue Cap when he can't even be seen in public? Oh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. and track my spider tracer. Hmm, it's not the greatest fit, but all of us crime fighters can't afford designers' long johns. Hmm, maybe in the dark nobody will notice. Okay, Cap, for 
for you and Uncle Sam, I'll take you. But boy, that costume is sure a lousy fit. And I'll never forget when you gave that gung-ho pep talk to the Jones and my fighter squadron, Cap. Man, it seems like only yesterday that my spider trace... Hold it! This is where I get off. Wait! You forgot your parachute! Before we put my plan of vengeance into its final phases, Captain, allow me to treat you to this demonstration. See what occurs after Dr. Neiman subjects those animals to his latest contraption. All right, Dr. Neiman, you may begin. Neiman's scientific miracle is quite obvious, Captain America. The dog and the cat have, to put it simply, exchanged minds. The cat's mind now inhabits the body of the dog, and vice versa. Imagine what the outcome will be when the two of us are subjected to this full-scale mind transfer machine. No, you can't mean... Oh, but I do, Captain. Consider the possibilities. Your mind, trapped inside the body of the Red Skull, locked away in one of this castle's stinking dungeons, while the mind of the Red Skull inhabits the powerful body of everyone's favorite hero, Captain America. With your body and my brain, there is nothing I cannot accomplish, including the total domination of your beloved country. <laughs> This is it. Unless a lot of people park their skull ships on the roofs of their castles. The skull. One of the photo electric cells has been interrupted. We have an intruder. Very well. Activate your security devices. That's what they're for. We have more urgent matters. The skull probably bought this place from Dracula or some werewolf. So far, this has been a piece of cake. Oh, Frank, the cake just went up. Let's see, how would the real cap handle this? So much for questions. Any night that heavy had to be a robot. Darn. One more year when I don't make a trip list. It's a walking cigarette lighter. Tisk, tisk, Lego Playmate. What would Smokey the Bear say? Let's try that again, Iron Man. Spider-Man style. find skull face. Sounds like it's coming from the other side. No, the skull couldn't be using the old secret passage behind the bookcase gag, could he? 
Well, I never said that Skull was original. Evil, yes, but original, uh-uh. Please, Master, I thank you not to use my machine for this. I invented it to help mankind, not destroy it. I'll fight it, Skull, as long as there's a trace of strength left in me. I suggest you save your strength, Captain. I do not wish to inhabit a tired body. <laughs> This is wrong. This isn't what I intended. I... You. You are nothing. You are an ugly, whining, weakling. Increase the power. In just another few moments, the transfer of my mind into Captain America's body will be completed. This is what I've dreamed of. Now do it. Yes. As you command, Eskar. into the air. Now it's a harmless, disembodied spirit. That's the only decent act I've ever done. The Red Skull will not rise again. He should not have called me ugly and all those other names. You prove to me you're A-OK, -okay, Spider-Man, and a real American. Thanks, Cap. In fact, I may just suggest to a certain newspaper publisher a Spider-Man day. Yeah? No fooling. Hey, I think I'd like that. In fact, we could... Uh, on second thought, I'd probably have to shake hands with Jameson. It just wouldn't be worth it.
Hurry, Maurice. We cannot hold it much longer. He still lives. He's close. They are let very in. Yes. Escaped. Escaped? Sacre bleu. But no one has ever escaped from Latveria. Escaped? How? The truth, Boris. Master, I did what I felt was right. You did what you felt? I have served you faithfully for 30 years. Yes, my old friend. You have served me faithfully. And this is the first time you have ever failed me. We'll speak of it no more. Leave me now. Thank you, Master. I knew you would understand. Yes, my friend. I understand only too well. If we were not old friends, I would not have missed. So we'll see how my dungeon suits you. Old friend. And now, as for the traitor Johan, my spies tell me he is in New York City. Is it him, our king? The one we seek? I think so, old woman, but uh, we must be sure. There are spies everywhere. You know what to do. I'll wait in the back with the others. Of course. It's here. The link chain. The Latvian underground. The chain of freedom is only as strong as its weakest link. Welcome, Johann Klemmel. Perhaps. Come, sit. Tell an old gypsy woman what you seek. I was told to say, the tree must fall. Because? Because the roots are rotten. You wish to destroy Dr. Doom. You have come to the right place, my friend. The underground in Latveria told us of your escape. We have been waiting for you. I am Akim, at your service. Who can I notify of your safe arrival? Tell me their names. I will do the rest. Thank you. But we'll have time for that later. I must now tell my story to the world. I... Uh, I do not understand. Conditions are desperate in Latveria. Dr. Doom is working the people like slaves. I will tell the American newspapers. They will get my story to the world. Newspapers, of course. Splendid idea. You must tell your story to the Daily Bugle. The Daily Bugle. Thank you. Why didn't we take him? Not yet. We must first make sure he is alone. It would be bad for our master if his story gets into the papers. That is why I sent him to the bugle. need to thank me. Oh, you idiot. Huh? Hold it. Cut, cut. I'm Sam Block, Blockbuster Productions. We're making a movie. You're making a... Well, uh, go right ahead. Don't let me stop you. You want me to print what about Dr. Doom? Look, whoever you are. Dr. Doom is one of the greatest men who ever lived. But... Now get out! I ought to have you arrested for telling lies like that about Dr. Doom. Uh, 
We couldn't help overhearing your discussion with Mr. Jameson. All of New York couldn't help overhearing. I was told I could find help to fight against Dr. Doom here, but whoever told you that was right, I'll help you. We both will. Betty, I want to record his story. Will you type it up for me later? Sure. Come on. My Aunt May's in Florida. You're coming home with me. Okay, Johan. You're on. I know exactly where to begin. First, the lies. Everything the world hears about Latveria is a lie. Dr. Doom is a ruthless tyrant. We can no longer stand such oppression. And so, I left my father and my friends in Latveria to come here and ask for help. Great! I believe every word you said. And when the rest of the world hears it, they will too. Now, I've got to get this to Betty for typing. You can rest here at... Yes, go ahead and sleep. You're safe here. Ah, uh, Peter. Uh, is, uh, is Johan still sleeping? Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, he's out cold. I'm really glad he called you. Johan is very important to all the freedom fighters in my country. Once his story hits the papers, we'll see some real action against Dr. Doom. His story will be in the papers? Yep. Betty Brandt's at the Bugle typing it up now. You, you, you newspaper people, you work so fast. Oh, hi, Betty. You're almost finished with Johan's story. Great, I'll be there right away. Betty's just about... That's funny. What a story. Miss Betty Brandt? Yes. <gasps> hey, wait, you can't... And so, I left my father and my friends in Latveria. Uh-oh, my spider says... Betty, elevator. very good at fortune telling, Miss Brat, and today is not your lucky day. <laughs> huh? What the? I see a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man in your future. Do your windshield, mister? Hey, I've got three. Look out. This way out, Miss Brant. We're out of control. Go! said this wasn't your lucky day. Uh, oh! I'm beginning to smell something fishy about all this. Look, take me back to the bugle. I've got a big story for Peter Parker. Oh! They got the transcript of Johan's story, but I've still got the tape. We'll get it to every newspaper in town by tonight. Yeah, great. But first, what say we both stop off at the cleaners? Tonight's evening news, a sensational story from Latveria. Look at this! Every paper in the country has printed that pack of lies about Dr. Doom. Every paper but the Bugle. I hear the UN's gonna put Dr. Doom on trial. <coughs> Daily Bugle. Johan, the revolution has started. I leave for Latveria in an hour from the old military airport outside of town. Johan, do you know what you're doing? The only regret I have is that Spider-Man can't come with us to fight. Thank you again for everything, Peter Parker. You're a true friend. But, Johan, there are spies on to you. You... Mr. Jameson, I've got to take a few days off. Starting now. Parker! Parker! Come back here! Or you'll never sell the bugle another picture! Well, my friend, the revolution is finally here. And so's your favorite wall crawler. Ah, Spider-Man. Are you joining us in our battle? Since I'm the only person who's ever defeated Dr. Doom... Defeated? Of course. Uh, we must hurry. 
On board. That's it. And may your days be interesting. But aren't you coming with us? Certainly. We go on next plane. This is Red Herring to Iron Leader. The pigeons are ready to fly. The Iron Leader is in total control. The controls! But, no one is here! Welcome aboard the Doom Special, Webslinger. Sit back and enjoy the ride. It'll be your last. In a history-making late-night session, the UN General Assembly is preparing the vote on a motion to try Dr. Doom on charges of tyranny. These documented charges were made by a Latvian freedom fighter named Johann Klemmel. Members of the General Assembly, it is time to vote. Fools. Weakling. Only through leadership can this wretched world be saved. Look. Behold my genius. Giant Tesla coils from which I can produce rain anywhere on Earth. To make flowers bloom, plants grow, rain for food, rain for light. For if I am not obeyed, rain for death. Torrents of rain, producing floods, will destroy towns, cities, entire nations. Doom has spoken. I trust. Listening. Order! Order! It's no use. I cannot believe it. Those members of the underground in New York, all spies for Dr. Doom. I wonder if Boris was a part of it, too. lost the signal. Any more news of Johan? Nothing. We know only that Dr. Doom is bringing Johan and Spider-Man to Latveria in a remote-controlled plane. Hmm, Doom will have to land the plane at the airport there. If Johan and Spider-Man are going to be saved to escape, it will have to be somewhere near there. Of course. The caves. We go. No. It will be safer if I go along. Doom soldiers are everywhere tonight. Gentlemen, you'll be landing in Latveria in a matter of minutes. And thank you for flying Doom Airline. We must fight. No matter what the cost, Doom must be stopped. Latveria must be freed. I've got an idea. Follow me. It's pressure sealed. It can only be opened from the outside. Stand back. What are you going to do? Hopefully put a dent in Doom's plans.
are escaped. Map section G14. Use every soldier. I want them found. Where are we? There used to be an underground hideout around here. Somewhere. Soldiers. This way. I know it's here. Somewhere. You better hurry. They're getting closer. Stefan. Johan. Stefan. Let me introduce Spider-Man, the only person who ever defeated Dr. Doom. Stefan von Voigt, at your service. Come. The others will want to meet you. But if we storm the castle at once, he can't stop all of us. I've got a better plan. I'll sneak into the castle alone, and all of you stage a diversion. Doom's new satellite tracking station. Of course. He'll blow it up. Yes, that sounds like a diversion to me. Let's go. Somehow I would have expected something more lavish, but, ah, toys. Doom's toys are as deadly as ever, I see. And whichever toy is causing all of that has to be around here somewhere. Doom. Nice place you've got here, but it's a little noisy. Yes, so I will silence you. You've been such a worthy opponent, I almost hate to destroy you. Farewell, Webslinger. a sign of him. Spider-Man's dead. But at least Dr. Doom was destroyed as well. Latveria is free at last. The tyrant is dead! Your Johan! Hooray! From now on, we will have free elections to decide our leaders. Free... Begin rebuilding Castle Doom. Now, you feel the wrath of Doom. Dr. Doom survives, which is more than I can say for Spider-Man. Betty, Robbie. Well, great to have you back. Oh. Peter, your arm. It's nothing. You must have had a blast. Yeah, I had a blast, all right. Parker! 
Yes, Mr. Jameson? I need pictures over at the U.N. Get going. Uh, J.J., you said I'd never sell the Bugle another picture. That was before. This is now. The U.N. is going to give Spider-Man a medal for saving the world. Get me those pictures. Right away, J.J. It looks like everything's back the way it was. Uh-huh. Even in Latveria. Dr. Shaw. Hey, lady, what are you doing? The fire's over here. Just mind your own business. I know what I'm looking for. And here he comes. Fire and high winds. Those smoke eaters are going to need some friendly neighborhood spidey help. It's no use. Wind's too strong. We can't use the ladder. Get out the net. We we can't hold on to it. One replacement net coming up. Ta-da! Instant net. Thanks, Spidey. Spider-Man, we have a woman and child trapped on the top floor. It's too far to jump. For them, but not for the old web-slinger. Yikes! 
this wall is hot. Help! Quick, over here. I'll take you down. Go away. The sailor Dougal says you're a menace. Lady, please, this isn't a weenie roast. I'm trying to save you. Come on. Hey, you betcha, Spider-Man. Come on, let's go, huh? I could reward you. That's cool. We Spider-Men only accept medals on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays anyway. May I have your autograph, please? Oh, sure. My pleasure. Now, who should I... Ow! That pen stuck me. Thanks very much. Nice going, Spidey. See you, web hand. Hey, didn't somebody want my autograph? Somebody? Anybody? Get away from there. Oh, what a mess. Bradley, wait till you see what I got. More pictures of Spider-Man, I suppose. Why, Fred, you're jealous of Spider-Man. Well, your obsession with Spider-Man is, is getting dangerous. Silly, I'm obsessed with you. Look what I have. A piece of Spider-Man's webbing. Here, quickly, let me examine it before it dissolves. Yes, it's artificial, just as I thought. Man-made and very sophisticated. I use my pen with the hidden needle. And look, a precious drop of Spider-Man's blood. Yes, there are traces of spider elements in his blood. And something more. The final key to unlocking the secret of Spider-Man. Yes? Radioactivity. I almost thought you'd forgotten her lunch date. Betty, a ten-alarm fire couldn't keep me away. Oh, it's the Red Cross van. Look, I promised to donate some blood, Peter. It'll just take a minute. Come on, you can do it too. Wait now, Betty, let's not be too hasty about this. Don't tell me you're afraid. No, no, I, I don't mind the sight of blood as long, as long as it's not my own. You are afraid. Well, I'm not. Bradley, you can't back out now. But it's such a terrible risk. Look, every great man of science takes a risk. Think of the rewards. You'll be famous. Your genius will be recognized. You'll have all the money you need for your work. You'll win every award. Perhaps even the Nobel Prize? The Nobel Prize? It's my dream. But if we fail... Oh, you're just a coward. If you loved me, you'd do the experiment as you promised. Penny, don't cry, please. I'll... I'll do the experiment. Parker, quit bothering my secretary. You see how easy it is? Even Mr. Jameson gave blood. Then it's the only thing he's given in years. I heard that! Uh-oh. If you want to get paid for your last photos, you go downstairs and donate some blood. What? That's right. And don't show your face in here again until you're wearing one of these buttons. Which spider did you use to make the serum? That one. The Nophilia clavipes. Well, what are you waiting for? Do it. Help me with the next step. We'll start with the low exposure to the radioactivity. Don't let the needle enter this danger zone. I don't mean I'm getting too much radiation. All right, turn on the machine. Nothing's happening. Be patient. Now turn the machine off. Why, certainly, Brad. 
than Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Spider-Man? I am Spider-Man! Well, there's the van. Ought to be a cinch. easy. Yep. Easy and dishonest. I can't do it. I have a reputation to protect. Even if it is a lousy one. Uh, ah! A spider monster! A spider man! Not another one. Help! That sounds like Jonah. Boy, how'd you get yourself into this mess? It's your fault! Get me down from here! My fault? All you Spider-Man types stick together! Even if he did say he'd be waiting to challenge you! Another Spider-Man? Yes! You're joking! No! You're not joking. Two of us? Gee, we'll have to join a union! Uh, uh, What's... This stuff I'm uh, made of? Look what you did to my shirt! Well, think how cool it'll be in the summer. That yellow webbing was a lot stronger than mine. I hope JJ was wrong as usual, but I better find this other Spider-Man fast. I'll take my usual shortcut. They call you Spider-Man. What would you call me? Hmm, ugly? Sarcasm won't help you escape the web of Nephilia, nor will it save you from your fate. Stop struggling, Spider-Man. The web of Nephilia is stronger than your own. Hey, you wouldn't want to hurt a relative, would you? Why, we're probably second cousins. Uh, third cousins twice removed? I've had enough of you. Wouldn't you rather use those on, uh, walnuts? Remember my power, Spider-Man, and stay out of Nophelia's way! Was it something I said? He who fights and loses and gets away lives to fight and lose another day. Somehow that's not comforting. Nephilia, a tropical spider found on South Sea Islands, also called the Golden Spinner, strongest webbing of any spider. The island natives sometimes use it to make bags and fishnets. You had Spider-Man in your hands and you let him go? I didn't let him go. I threw him halfway across town. You let him go, dummy! Now, Penny, dear. Look at this. He'll pay for that. Make them all pay. How? Look at the other headline. Gold shipment coming by armored train. Gold for the golden spinner. Mm. Yes.
Excuse me, is this the exotic import company? No, this is a flower shop, and I'm playing with a petunia. Give me a hand, will you? Yeah, sure. Have you sold any Nephilia spiders lately? Uh, let's see, Nemesia, Neoscanella. Ah, uh, yes, Nephilia, sold to Dr. Bradley Shaw. Here's the address. Mr. Jameson, I have a great story for you. I... Where's your button? Oh, come on, this is important. I told you not to show your face in here again until you donated blood. But I don't know where to find it. Out! 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 Young kids today, no sense of civic duty. When I was a... I, I was... A good guy. <laughs> Long time no see. To heck with him. I'll get the story myself. I'm tempted to leave him there. Took you long enough? Why, J. Jonah Jameson, I didn't know you cared. Here, the filly I left this for you. I'm not gonna be a messenger boy for wall-crawling webheads. Now get me out of here! The gold shipment. Save me, blast it! Where are you going? Don't worry, JJ. I'll save you. Going up. Doctor Shaw. I get the feeling I'm in the right place, but where is? Hello, Spider-Man. This tape was activated to play when someone came in the window. I knew you'd find us eventually, so we have gone. Somewhere. Until tomorrow, when we steal the gold. I dare you to stop us. Sheesh, have I got problems? Let's see. First, how do I donate my radioactive blood so Jonah will pay me? Hmm, this serum will do it. But if I take it, I won't be Spider-Man anymore. And no matter what Jonah thinks, the world is better off with Spider-Man around. Which brings me to problem number two. Nephilia. I have to stop him. Which means I have to find a way to overcome the strength of his web. I don't want to fight you. I am Nephilia. Let me help you. Destroy him! I told you to stay out of my way. Your 
webbing fails you. What? What's happening? I found a solvent for your webbing, Nephi. And now... That beautiful gold, and it all belongs to them! You, you monster! I'm going to jail, but believe me, I didn't stop loving you because you became a monster. I never loved you at all! Oh. Come on, Doc. Let's take you home. This serum could make your blood normal again, but it also could kill you. I'm dead now. Mm. Spider-Man. What are, what are you doing here? What's, ha what's happened to me? Don't you remember? Ah. Uh, remember what? Nothing important, Doc. If you ever need me, just hang a web out the window. Betty, I don't care how busy he is. I'm getting my money, button or no button. Yeah! I want to see Jameson, too. He owes me three bucks for a button. He, he bought, bought the, the button? button? Yeah! Want to buy one? I told you I didn't want to be disturbed, Miss Brad. I, uh, ugh. Three bucks, JJ! Uh, uh, yeah, of course. There you go, little man. Now scram. And here's your money, Peter. And a little bonus, too. <laughs> we, uh, we don't need to mention this to anyone, right? <laughs> yeah, right? Right?
be able to see the launch fine from here. I'll be back later. See you, Mike. Wow, when my science professor heard I was going to watch the launch from the main control room, was he envious? And, oh, I'll pay you back for the fare, Aunt May. B, Peter's getting credit for a science field trip, thanks to you and your nephew, Michael. Behind me is Dr. Emil Zoltan, the man responsible for putting Dr. Doom's laser cannon on the space platform being launched here today. Dr. Zoltan, perhaps you'd like to tell us why you're sending Dr. Doom's cannon into space. Out of my way. Lift off in eight minutes. Fuel lines connected. Uh, Roger. Hey, not yet. Too late. The fuel hose is cut. Liquid nitrogen. It'll freeze steel so it's brittle as glass. Let's move. We're stuck. And I think the cable's starting to break. What's going on? Uh-oh. That elevator's jammed. Where's the emergency crew? Get somebody up there. They need help, and fast. Rescue team, to the elevator, on the double. It won't hold. It can't. We've had it. We'll never get to him in time. But your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man will. I never forget my mittens. Nothing can save us now. Except a miracle. Going down? We've cut off the fuel. It'll only take a few minutes to replace the line. The launch will take place. Countdown continues, thanks to Spider-Man. What a strange twist of fate. Because of the web slinger, my countdown's continuing as well. I must remember to thank him. Treachery couldn't stop me, my old friend. Have the prisoner brought to my chambers immediately. All right, they're gone. When we rebuilt this wing of the castle, we found this passageway. No matter where it leads, it has to be better than here. You show us the way, Johan. We have a go. Lift off in 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. You wish to see me, master? Yes. Come, look. Today, my life's dream comes true. We lost control! I picked up a mysterious tracking beam from somewhere in Europe. Never a dull moment. Something seems to have gone wrong. Yes, let's ask Peter. Peter? Now, where did that boy go? Oh, dear. Quick, the auxiliary tracking computer. The auxiliary tracking computer is dead. What? Final separation in five seconds. 
Separation complete. The platform is in orbit. But it's out of our control. Michael, dear, but I think there's something you should know about that Dr. Zoltan. I saw him... Uh, please, Mrs. Parker, not right now. But Michael... Oh, dear. Finally, Boris. Finally, the world will know what true leadership is. My leadership. Master, how will taking control of the space platform... Silence! The Pacific Ring of Fire, the largest volcanoes on Earth. In seconds, it will be exactly 12 noon. And when my laser cannon causes those volcanoes to erupt all at the same time, the Earth will be launched out of its orbit. And only I can bring it back. It's the ultimate blackmail. The final countdown for Spaceship Earth. Five, four, three, two, one. Find out what's hey. What was that? What happened? An earthquake? The bomb? signal that controls the space platform comes from Latveria. Who else but that tin-headed maniac? Can we get back into the proper orbit, or has Doom really pushed the final button? Dr. Lee, take a look, gentlemen. The Earth, the Sun. This mountain here represents the volcanoes which Dr. Doom caused to erupt. By making the volcanoes erupt simultaneously when they are pointing at the Sun, the Earth moves away. But make the volcanoes erupt again when they are facing away from the sun, and the Earth should move back where it belongs. But only Dr. Doom can make the volcanoes erupt. There goes my spider sense. The computer card. What are you doing? Spider-Man, I'll show you. Dr. Zoltan, what is the meaning of this? It means the good doctor here is an agent of Dr. Doom. What? Yes, and proud of it. The only hope for the world lies in his leadership. Then will you fools are learn? got to fire the volcanoes at exactly midnight European time. Or we could blast the Earth even farther off course and... And that would be that. Ah, here's the French ambassador. Ah, the amazing Spider-Man. What can we do to help? 
They told me your jet was leaving for France immediately. I'd like to hitch a ride as far as Latveria. Oh, mais oui. But uh, you must show me how you squirt out your wet uh, from those little things, yes? Mais oui. What do any of you know of order? You, sir, are a madman! Silence! Look around you. The world is filled with wars, with hunger, with violence and petty greed. You have done nothing to change that. I offer the world a better way. I offer strength, leadership. I offer world peace, world order. I offer what you claim to want, all of you, a more secure and a happier world. But you've just destroyed the world. Earthquakes, tidal waves. Look again. Everything was foreseen, planned to the millimeter. Destruction will only occur in uninhabited areas of the world. Thanks to my genius and my planning, not one human being will be harmed by this demonstration of my power. You have eight hours to make your decision. Declare me, Dr. Doom, ruler of the world, or the Earth will freeze. Mm. The subject is now open for discussion. As world temperatures continue to fall, the UN works feverishly to find a solution. So far, they have met with total failure. And at this moment, Latveria is surrounded with a radar blanket. Not even an insect could cross the border without being detected by Dr. Doom. All France salutes you, Spider-Man. Ah, there is Latveria. But if we attempt a landing, Doom would shoot us down. I'll get there, Mr. Ambassador. I'm not exactly sure how, but... Sector 8, near the river. Every available soldier into that area. When real spiders do this, it's called ballooning. Hope it throws them off. Oh, no. Well, I've got to make use of that river. Sounds like Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls? The last time I was here, the underground had a secret door in this cliff. Ah, hope it's still a secret. Delegates, delegates, please. It has been decided. We have no choice but to turn the world's leadership over to Dr. Doom. The United Nations declares you, Dr. Doom, master of the world. I accept the designation. My friend, I have prepared well for this day. I have placed replicas of myself in every country of the world. Waiting for this signal to take control of the world's governments. Governments. You will obey me as your new leader. I declare the United Nations immediately 
and forever disbanded. Leave, all of you. I object. This is an outrage. The people will not. The people, the people will do what Dr. Doom tells them to do. I wanted you to see what you gave up when you betrayed me. I wanted you to see me taste this sweetest nectar of total victory. But now you may return to your cell for the rest of your life. No, my old master. A robot? Hmm. It seems, Boris, I taught you too well. Wait, someone's there. You know, with a few more candles and a violin, you could do a nice weekend business. I don't believe it. The answer to our prayers. Well, I wouldn't go that far. I would. Come on, we're moving out. Can I play soldier too? I Tin Ed. The wall crawler. Haven't you heard? The world is mine, officially. If I can set up those volcanoes precisely at midnight, you'll be a loser, officially. Now, which one controls the laser cannon? The large laser. Naturally, what else? Thanks. Oh, I hate goodbyes. You're done for, Spider-Man. You've no place to run. That's okay, Rustpot. I'm beginning to like it here. You miserable man. What? No! Some days it feels good being your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man.
Spider-Man. folks need an assist from a friendly wall crawler spider-man it's that cat burglar we've been trying to capture all month we know he's hiding out here someplace he could be anywhere in these shadows mm, good old spider sense The cat's been chased up a tree. Hey, what the? Hey, I give up! You just get me out of here! Tonight you proved that you're not so bad after all, Spider-Man. In fact, I'm gonna do my best to get you a citation for your heroism. Thanks, officer, but I really can't stick around. <laughs> my uh, aunt wants me to be uh, home by 8 o'clock sharp. Oh, Peter, dear, you're right on time. I wouldn't stand up, my favorite girl. Now, what's this surprise you said you were planning for me at 8 o'clock? Just get comfy in your Uncle Ben's easy chair and you'll see. And now, the new adventures of the mighty Avengers. You wanted me home to see a TV cartoon show? Oh, I know how you enjoy adventure programs. And this is one about nice people with strange powers. Not nasty people like that scary Spider-Man. <laughs> The sale should keep you safe from them, Mr. Cat Burglar. Not too popular with the other cons, are you? So, my cellmate's the notorious chameleon, master of disguise. Judging by the reception you just got, you're somewhat of a celebrity yourself. That's because they know I'm related to the guy who's partly responsible for most of us being here. Oh, well, how's that? It was back in the days when a certain wall crawler was just starting his career. But then all he wanted to be was a big time TV star. So leave the crook catch into the sucker superhero Spider-Man. Stick with me and I'll make you a millionaire. Sometime later a thief was robbing the house of Ben and May Parker. With old Ben having himself a fatal accident. He might have gotten away with it except for that crummy wall crawler. He seemed to take it personal. You'll never escape again, murderer! <laughs> Web spinner surprise. The guy who wasted Ben Parker was the same guy he let escape at the TV studio. That's when Spider-Man started using his powers to fight crime. I know all this because that guy was my cousin. The guy who started Spider-Man on his crime-fighting career. Hmm. You know, fate must have made you my cellmate. 
For a long time, I've been planning to take over New York's criminal underworld. But there's one major element that's forever standing in my way. Spider-Man. But getting rid of Spider-Man by force has always failed. Now, perhaps, there's a more subtle way of eliminating the wall crawler. Ben Parker's nephew, Peter, always manages to get the best news photos of Spider-Man for the Daily Bugle. And Peter lives with his old aunt, Ben's widow, May Parker. Yeah, yeah, how very interesting. to be doing well tonight. Oh, hi, Warden. Thanks, Warden. Hello, sir. I'm going home early, Sam. Yes, sir. See you tomorrow, Warden. So, what happens now, Chameleon? We wait, Colleen, and we plan the extermination of a most meddlesome insect. if I sat with you. Please do. I'm just waiting here for my nephew. My name is Colleen Clark. I come here often. It's so, so comforting since I've been left alone. I understand, Colleen. I'm a widow, too. Yes. Oh, my. But that's a fine-looking gentleman over there. Oh, oh, my stars. It's Ben, my husband, Ben. Ben, dear, wait. Don't go away. Right on time again, and... Oh. And May, what's wrong? I... I saw your Uncle Ben. He went into the other gallery. Be right back. Uh, sir, did a man just come into this room? Uh, no one at all. Thank you. Maybe your husband's spirit wants to tell you something. His... his spirit? I know a man who might be able to help you. A spirit medium. The great mentor? I'm sorry, Aunt May, but no one saw anyone. I did. I saw Ben. I appreciate your bringing me here, Colleen. Thank you so much. I do hope you find your answer here, May. I'll call you later. Oh, thanks again. The great mentor has been expecting you. You know my name? This way, Mrs. Parker, through the doorway. Oh, thank you, dear. I won't deceive you. Mrs. Clark phoned that you were coming. And why? Please. You wish to contact your beloved husband's spirit. Concentrate on him with all your mind and heart. Okay, mentor, get ready to win an Oscar. Oh, spirit world, I request a sign that you hear me. We wish to contact the spirit of Benjamin Parker. Now concentrate, Mrs. Parker. May! May, dear! I knew you'd come. I can't rest, May. Ben? What's wrong, dear? I should be alive. But because of Spider-Man, I'm not. Because of Spider-Man? Yes. I cannot rest. But there must be some way you can find peace, Ben. Spider-Man must be made helpless and turned over to Mentor. Remember, if not for Spider-Man, I'd be alive today! Ben! The 
psychic contact has been broken, Mrs. Parker. The seance is over, I'm sorry. But perhaps this spirit amulet necklace will help you contact Benjamin again. It is my gift to you, Mrs. Parker. Wear it. Wear it always. That scent, it, it's very pleasant. Peter, you've met Spider-Man. Do you think I might sometime soon? But I thought the wall crawler scared you. Oh, maybe the bugle was fibbing when it said Spider-Man is bad. After all, the police department is giving him an award. Well, if you really want to meet him, how about tonight? Now, he said he'd be here in a little while. Uh, sorry I have to study at the library. I hope you two get along. <laughs> Spider-Man, won't you come into my parlor? I changed the bulb, Mrs. Parker. That's nice. I've been waiting for Peter to do that for weeks. The doctor said one of these would make me sleep. I wonder how many a Spider-Man would have to take. We are homemade cookies and ice cold milk. Mmm, looks good. Thanks, Mrs. Parker. Mm. Here's to you. Here's to you, Ben. Huh? My spider sense. That milk was starting to go bad. And don't forget, you promised to come back. I will. How did that, whatever it was, get into Aunt May's milk? Ah, the old lady blew it. She needs another visit from Ben. Oh, well, tomorrow's another day. All right. She turned in. Give her ten minutes. The hypnotic fumes in the spirit amulet necklace will help make Ben's appearance totally real. May! May, my dear! Ben! Help me, May. Help me to find peace. Until Spider-Man is made helpless, I cannot rest! I'll help you rest, Ben. Remember our motto. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Bye, Aunt May. Say hello to Spider-Man for me while I'm gone. You say the airport? Yeah, but you can let me off at the corner. Sure. Huh? Man. You're the boss, Mrs. Parker. Oh, please, call me Aunt May. Have I got it where you want it? Let me just line it up. Let's see. A little to the right. Sure. A little more. Perfect. Anything else? Hey! What happened? Oh, my heavens. It slipped. Uh, and May, I think maybe we ought to get some fresh air. Yes, good idea. You know someplace I've never been with lots of fresh air? The top of the Statue of Liberty. Huh? Sightseers never get a view like this. How 
true, Spider-Man. On a clear day, you can see... No, I can't do it. I, I... Oh, I'm slipping! And me! Ah! Oh, one should never wear slippery shoes on top of the Statue of Liberty. That Parker woman has failed in her every attempt to deal with Spider-Man. It's obvious she needs help. Help that will deal with her as well. Okay, enough's enough. What's happening? Is my dear Aunt May getting... Is she going... Am I going? It's Ben May. Listen carefully. What's that? It will all be over tomorrow, May. Have Spider-Man here a little before 12 noon exactly. I'm trying, Ben. But something always seems to go wrong. Before noon tomorrow, Ben. I will. I will. I don't believe what I'm seeing. Gotta get to the bottom of this. Tomorrow I'll rest. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hey, where is he? Well, I am beginning to understand your reputation for rudeness, Spider-Man. But, but, oh, never mind, Aunt May, I am sorry. But nothing will stop me from being here at noon tomorrow, I promise you that. Good. And today, the masked crime fighter called Spider-Man receives an award from the New York Police Department. Uh, thanks, everybody. I really appreciate this, but I have to go now. Honest, it, it's very important. Thanks again, guys. I wonder who that is. Oh, somebody left a present. Congratulations, Spider-Man. Why, this must be what Ben talked to me about. I must give it to Spider-Man at exactly 12 noon. There he is, right on time. Press the button. We'll have five seconds to get away. But the old lady, she'll get caught in the... Shut up and drive. All I want to know, Aunt May, is what your special surprise is. Don't tell me. My spider sense tells me this cake isn't for eating. It's for throwing! Your cake! I'm sure I'd have gotten a big bang out of it. But right now, I'm going to get to the bottom of this cake. Fast! Double darn you, Spider-Man. May Parker isn't finished with you yet. I think we lost him. Three wrong thinks and you're out. No, you're out. The old gas gag. Come on. We'll pick our time to fight. There's still dear Aunt May in the meantime. <laughs> Those spirit effects will detain him long enough for us to get away. But the police will spot us. They'll only see the big hero they gave the award to today. Be very careful with that man. It's deadly on more than little insects. Yes, well, it's a very, very big spider. Then let's make tracks, Spidey. Stick around for autographs. Hey, May, my 
my dear. I can't rest. You will now, Finn. Help me, May. Help me to find peace. Remember, if not for Spider-Man, I'd be alive today. If not for Spider-Man. What? You fool! Look! I'm not Spider-Man! Now I know why you wear that mask. Your real face is even scarier. She poured acid on the steering wheel. No! Thank Kevin for a little spider tracers. Guess that sinks another of your master plans, chameleon. And I'll bet this piece of junk jewelry is the cause of Aunt May's visions. What? What happened? You! <laughs> Hypnogas. Taking advantage of a fine old woman like May Parker is about as low as you can get. And I'll see to it you receive a jail sentence as long as you can get. I, I really don't remember much, Peter. That awful Hypnogas cloud is my mind. I just know that Spider-Man... Well, he, he... He's not as bad as some people say? No! Whatever gave you that idea. I was about to say he was probably behind it all. Whatever it was. Well, win a few, lose a few. to be said for web swinging, but flapping your wings is the only way to fly. Hold everything. Maybe it's something I ate, but my spider sense just went off like a $10 alarm. Hmm. Nothing seems to be wrong. Just a friendly neighborhood citizen reading his daily bugle, and one harmless vulture swooping to the attack. Come on, Spidey, swing it! Not even Spider-Man can stop the vulture! Whoa! But what am I gonna do when I get to the end of this thing? Perhaps this will solve your problem! Whoa!
wonder if it was something I said. Thank you, Commissioner. I'll put a reporter on it immediately. The vulture has just captured another scientist. And not only that, a witness saw Spider-Man at the scene of the crime. That wall-crawling menace is a crook in Bugs' clothing. And I'm going to expose him once and for all. Ahem. If you don't mind, sir, I'd like to cover this story. I'm a science major and... Forget it, Parker. I want you to contact your millionaire and better friend, Perry Osborne. He's got the scientific credentials to give us a good quote. You know, if it weren't for me, Harry Osborne would never have passed chemistry. Oh, well, if I can't cover the story... At least I can try to clear my good name by finding the vulture. Hey, what's this? I don't know, but Jameson's such a stickler for cleanliness. Hey, we better toss it in the trash. Sheesh. I've webbed my way all over this town, but no vulture. Hey, where'd my clothes go? Wait a minute, I've got it. I can get a quote from my old roommate, Harry Osborne, and at the same time borrow some of his clothes. Not bad, Petey, old boy, not bad. Yes. And now that I've got all the data on your latest experiments, all I need is you, Harry Osborne, and my team of scientists is complete. Wait a minute. I'm not Harry Jones. <laughs> Where are we going? The vulture's roost is near. No wonder I couldn't find his hideout. missing scientist. Exactly. Meet Hank Edwards, who designed my power plant. He forced me to do it. And Professor Donaldson, the creator of my cyborg birds. about uh, invisible paint? Oh, no! You 
and my birds will begin painting the outside of my craft immediately. And remember, their safety depends on your success. What kind of job is this? I can't even see what I've done. But if I don't do something soon, the vulture's hideout is going to be out of sight. Finished already, my pets? I must leave you for one last scouting mission. But I'm sure you can keep an eye on our guests while I'm gone. On the other hand, this paint could make my problems disappear. Hmm. Now I know how the Emperor felt when he tried on his new clothes. Well, what are we going to do? As long as your creations are keeping guard, nothing. Don't believe it. Guys, I signal my buddy Spider-Man. He'll be here any second. Oh, gosh, it's Harry Osborn, but what is invisible? Actually, he was never really here. Hello, gentlemen. Greetings from your friendly neighborhood, Spider-Man. I simply don't believe it. Now, quick, get into these parachutes. Oh no! Just my luck, these babies like spiders! He jumped! As long as they get sick of the sight of the dirigible and beat the birds back inside, there's nothing to fear! How are we gonna parachute out of here? Yes, those birds will be waiting for us! Not anymore. And if I can open that hatch, too. <laughs> now, if I close them, those guys get away, and our furious feathered friends are trapped in here with me. Uh, Polly, want a cracker? you got back spider-man there's nothing to eat here but metal bird seed i don't know how you got here i know how you are going to leave uh before i do couldn't you at least tell me what all this fancy stuff is for by the time you find out i'll be the richest man in the world wait a minute i forgot to tell you spiders can't fly That's one superhero less to plague our world. I don't see what could be so important that Mr. High and Mighty Parker could forget our date for lunch. All right, Spidey, you've got one chance, so it better be good! Look at him go! Slow down, Ace! I'm scared of Ace! 
cling with their feet as well as their hands. down in one hour. If you want a career in journalism, you better get your camera and follow us. I'm the devil. Yeah, Jupiter probe. It collected outer space rocks and gems that will be more valuable than the most precious jewels on Earth. By the time you find out what my equipment is for, I'll be the richest man in the world. That's it. I need to charter your plane. Oh, you do, do ya? You see, the Vulture's gonna hijack a space probe with his invisible airship, and I have to get up there first. Sure you do. Look, Sonny, there's Gremlins up there, too. It ain't safe. I've got to get aboard the recovery vessel. And to do that... I'm going to have to put my super spider swimming strength to work. Hope my webbing keeps my clothes dry. I'm not the submariner, but I'm getting there. <laughs> Lost on the ship. Find them. Well, time for Peter Parker to say hello. I'll start a search party now, Mr. Jameson. Who are you looking for? You! You! You hoodoo! Where have you been? Got lost, Mr. Jameson. I was looking all over for you. Attention, the Jupiter probe is commencing atmospheric re-entry. Come on! We better get to the bridge! With those Jupiter rocks in my possession, the government will have to give me anything I ask. One billion dollars, two billion dollars. <laughs> this crime will make the Guinness Book of Records. And in a few moments, the Jupiter probe will get a new paint job. I see it! I see it! 6,000 feet at 84 degrees, 20 minutes, 5,900 feet. And now the vulture strikes! Jupiter probe, it's, it's, it's gone! I think that's my cue. I, I can't understand it. it. It just vanished. Pardon me, what was your last reading? Why, 5,500 feet at 82 degrees, but what good will that do? Ah, quick, bring it inside, my pet! Ah! The 
richest treasure in the world. And it's all mine! I sure hope my calculations are on the button. Because if they aren't, this catapult will shoot me right past the vulture's dirigible. and I'd have been the first superhero in orbit. You know, I'm never gonna find that hatch, so why try? <laughs> You're for the birds, Vulture! No weapon! The birds are for you! Jupiter probe, where are you? Oof. No! The probe is mine! Ah! Can't you see where you're going? <laughs> and as soon as it hits the water, the paint will wash off and the boys in blue will be able to see it. I don't have to worry about the law of gravity, Spider-Man! I can fly! You are doomed! I planned on a piggyback ride! And I planned on a solo! Fantastic! Sometimes the gods of spider luck are really funny. Confound it! It's that Gremlin again! Geez, I'm gonna have to show him some really fancy barnstorming! Peter. Thanks, Robbie. I always said we had a photogenic boss.
Little Man. Fair City honored with a visit by public enemy number two, or is it three? It's two. You want me to clobber the squirt, Silver Mane? That's gonna be difficult, Gargantua. <coughs> if you can't see what you're clobbering... You're going to pay for this, you masked insect. You mean all he gets is a speeding ticket? Sorry. He may be wanted for a million crimes on the West Coast, but not in New York. What's spooky is that this is the Kingpin's territory. I know. And neither the Kingpin or Silvermane have ever been what you'd call bosom buddies. Say, officer, what about the door to my limousine? Oops, how forgetful of me. Here. I won't even charge you for the labor. Each of you is a master of one of the martial arts. The samurai, the master of kung fu, and the sumo champion. Let's see if I got my money's worth. Not even perspiring. Hey, boss! Doc Everett asks you should come to the lab. It's finally perfected, Kingpin. This special alloy container holds a sufficient quantity of my dissolvent fluid. Spare me the lecture, Doctor Everett. Just play show and tell. Observe what a small amount of my dissolvent can do. It only works for thirty seconds, but that's more than enough. Four aces. Uh, no aces. Make up a large batch, Dr. Everett. Enough for me to become the kingpin of all organized crime nationwide. Yes. What do I do with the chemical waste? Do what we always do. Dump it in the river. Dig this 
sightseeing tour. Now that you have reached maturity, Namorita, it is time that I show you more of my underwater domain. Some domain? Not a fish in sight for leagues. But maybe Cousin Nita can find us some. Wait, Nita, stay with me. Oh, the older generation. They never let us teenagers. Hey, it's getting hard to breathe. Oh, oh, oh. I've never seen a horror like this before. It's a freak. Born a monster by chemical pollution. Monarch of Atlantis, I demand the presence of a physician. I'll take charge of her, Prince Namor. I'm Dr. Blake. She was overcome by toxic pollution, Doctor. If she does not survive, I'll do my best. Mariner, Prince Namor. <laughs> the Prince of Blood has only begun his war against your pollution. Air breathers. Then you're not here to pose for swimsuit ads. Power of Proteus. Who dares? Does this patented spider mask give you a clue who dares? Spider-Man. Whoa! Hmm, what's this? That limo is causing my spider sense to ring. Maybe I better attach my spider tracer to it just in case. So, you think you can stop my war upon your city's filth? Whoops! They don't make flagpoles like they used to! Kids, want to shoot some of that our way? Sure, thanks, Spidey. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's enough. One day I shall repay you for saving my life. But now I must resume my war on your pollution. The same filth that put Namorita in the hospital. Hey, hold it right there, Sub. That war can't be won by force. People have to stop it themselves. You gotta convince people with influence. Perhaps you are right, surface man. Farewell. Wish I could tag along, but I've got my own problems. Good old spider tracer. Let's just see what it's led me to. Hmm. Two more out-of-town gang leaders. Hammerhead and Caesar Cicero. I'd better scrounge up some transportation before they make it to that yacht. Miss Brandt, I am not to be disturbed for the next half hour because my private blend cigar has just arrived. The best, most expensive cigars in the world. So, even a man of influence is a lover of pollution. I had hoped you would use your newspaper to help me fight pollution. Yet you eagerly pollute your lungs and other people's air as others pollute the sea and sky. 
Listen, you. If you're looking for a swimming pool, the YMCA's just down a block. Hey! Kingpin, why did you call us here? Yeah, we don't usually hang out with the competition, you know. Maybe we're here to play ball. Put that down, Cicero. You'll know later when... Hey, look at what I nab. An old pal. What's shaking, Fatso? You planning to film The Godfather Part 3? Keep back, gentlemen. I'll handle the wall crawler. What shall we do with our masked party crusher? Where are we going, you crazy flying fish? Look down there, a once fertile farmland made barren by industrial waste. And there, a polluted beach where people once swam, now a haven for scavengers. And there, men of wealth dropping yet more refuse into my domain. <laughs> Silvermane, I never cease being amused by your classic methods of eliminating an enemy. By the time the creep shakes off that sleep gas, he'll be chow for the sharks. <laughs> I'm about to teach those rich polluters a well-deserved lesson. To the demise of an old foe and the birth of a new era of organized crack. Holy uh, mackerel, it's the submariner. There is a familiar stench about this craft. Did you come here just to insult us, Prince Namor? By the seven seas, I came to warn you against dumping garbage into my watery domain. Garbage? Garbage? We didn't dump any garbage. That's a matter of opinion. <laughs> <laughs> we just flicked over a pesky little bug. <laughs> bug? That evens the score, Subby. Not with your polluters, Spider-Man. There is but one choice left. Tracking the pollution that made my cousin ill to its source. I guess I get the booby prize. Help! Won't anybody get me down from, from here? Can't anybody hear me? I can, Chuckles. Hey. Oh, no. The webhead of old... Uh... Better button your lip before somebody accuses you of noise pollution. You just get me down into a doctor. I think I've got pneumonia. I... Hey! 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 Gesundheit! These waters reek of the same smell I detected on the yacht and in the chemicals that assaulted Nita. But I see none of that black pollution. Still, just because pollution cannot be seen, does not mean it is not there. Don't just stand there gawking! Get, get me a doctor! And a pair of wire cutters! It's astounding, but she's a true amphibian with both lungs and gills. Doc, how's Nita doing? Spider-Man. Well, I've done all I can. She took in enough toxic waste to kill any human, or almost any fish. If she doesn't come out of her coma soon, I shudder to think what might happen to this city.
by my Atlantean throne. This is what made my cousin sick. Gentlemen, until now, each of us has ruled our own sector of the country. I, the East Coast, Silvermane, the West Coast, Hammerhead, the Midwest, and Caesar, Cicero, the South. And we've always been at war with each other. Until now. We are going to merge into one organization, with me as the boss of all bosses. Kingpin, you flipped your bull meat. Yes, I'm not one for jokes, Kingpin, but that's very funny. You obviously think you have the clout to give us orders. Why? The most indestructible safe in the world. Watch. There, gentlemen, is my clout. Holy Toledo. Impressive. Now, observe what a little more of this dissolvent can do. The vault used by the government to hold the gold at Fort Knox. An atom bomb won't blast it open. Think of it. Prison gates, cell doors, chains, safes, vaults, everything. You may have quantities of the dissolvent, but you know my price. Hmm. I don't know, King King. Not since the old days have I called anyone boss. Where is your overstuff ruler? Tell me! Looking for me, Prince Nemo. You want me to take care of 40 years, boss? Enjoy yourself, Marco. I always wanted to get my mitts on one of you super types <laughs> and see who's tougher, you or Man Mountain Marco. <laughs> Now for the criminal who commands him. Put me down, you freak! Don't you know who I am? You are scum! You made a mistake coming to my domain, Neymar. I can defeat you easily without afterwards having my hands smell of fish. I originally installed that trap for my arch foe, the dear departed web spinner. Oh, 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 oh. When the electricity evaporates all of his external body moisture, he will be out for who knows how long. Scum. He called me scum. You want me to join your organization, King Pin? My price. I take care of the Submariner. I must admit, Silvermane, you old-timers certainly had a flair for this sort of thing. Submariner, destroyed by the very dissolvent whose polluting waste products brought him here. The fumes will keep him out until they weaken the rope hanging over the vat. Then Prince Namor will be no more. <laughs> Mr. Bogart, sir, can I have your autograph? Oh, you Hey, I thought you were standing guard outside. Uh, I got something to tell the kingpin. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey. Hey, boss, we got company. So, the spider has as many lives as the proverbial cat. Then I guess trick or treat time is over, Kingpin. As is your interference, wall crawler. Just talk this over and save you some property damage? Have to move on, but where? Huh? Might as well see where that leads. Don't have much of a choice.
thinking what I'm thinking? No! This is Alvin! Fitting end, fame. What? And pollute your waters even more? Hi, Kevin. Hope you weren't worried about me. But this handsome doctor made me good as new. Hey, I wonder if this hunk's got pointy ears under his mask. Come on. You have shown me, physician, as did Spider-Man, that not all surface men are evil. Come, Namorita. But... We shall keep our eyes on their world from time to time. I hope that's a promise, cousin, because I think men are cute. Cute? and uh, underwear. Check the case. No, please, wait. AJ by day, AJ. Socks and underwear. Uh. <laughs> it's a private party? Or can anyone join the fun? Spider-Man, let's get out of here. Spider-Man, I've got a fortune in rare cut gems here. No kidding. Yeah. Thanks again. 
I'll call the police. Boy, a fortune in gems. So where are the cops already, man? Yeah, man. So, you save a fortune in gems and all you get is thanks? Huh? Al Hunter's the name. Talent and career's my game. All your talent. And what do you get out of it? I catch muggers. I'm a good guy. <laughs> Big deal. You're wasting your talent, giving it away. There's good money for what you can do and a future for you and your loved ones. Yeah, well, thanks anyway. Plan for the future and keep my card. You're going to need it. Come fly with us. Aloha Airlines offers you two fun-filled weeks in Hawaii. Bet you'd love a Hawaiian vacation. Mm, I surely would, if only it didn't cost so much. Happy birthday, Aunt May. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, it is lovely, Peter. My favorite talcum powder. I uh, couldn't think of anything else you could use. That's all right, Peter. And that, of course, brings us to Spider-Man. Yes, Spider-Man, who for the last ten years has been one of the key guardians of the Big Apple, fighting such menaces as the Green Goblin, Doctor Doom, and the dreaded Lizard. Once again, Spider-Man cut short the careers of many villains who threatened our people and our city. To Spider-Man, our debt of gratitude. And that's the way it was yesterday in New York City. I think Spider-Man's just a big phony. He does it all for the money. Even you think that? Well, maybe that's just what he ought to do. No. Well, yeah. Maybe a little. seconds. That wasn't even a workout. Get me eight karate masters next time. The only other pleasure I never tire of is toying with Spider-Man. Hmm, sixth floor. right? Sure. All I ever get is a pat on the back. But also, I need direction and a sense of purpose. Yeah, leave it to me. I'll help you make money and start a new career. How about this? He's taking the bait. A photography job. Great. I like cameras. Okay. Brandt Publications wants unusual photos of the Golden Boy at the Graham Arts Museum. This camera's one of the best. Hey, uh, what paper are you representing? The Webhead Gazette. These photos ought to be unusual enough for them. that show up all the detectors and alarms was pure genius. Look out! There's a beam right there. Move slowly. He 
see, that's 200 pounds solid gold, courtesy of Spider-Man. All right, Parker. Before I send you to the unemployment office, explain this. Slinger get there. And why didn't you get a picture of him? They've got him dead to rights. He was casing the museum for the crooks who robbed it last night. Casing it? What else? I thought he was just taking pictures. That's what you should have done! I have two tickets here. That new quiz show, Bank Bonanza, is having one million dollars in cash on stage tonight, just in case something happens. Be there! With camera, with film in it, and without excuses! Hey, they love the picture, Spidey Baby. But I told them you quit. But why? No, oh, they didn't pay enough. Now, here, how would you like to carry one million dollars across the rooftops to Bank Bonanza? A million dollars? Cash. And this can be a brilliant new business career. Listen, executive courier. Hmm. Tell me more. Okay, you pick up and deliver. Who can stop you? You're much cheaper than trucks and guards. I am? Hey, you're a walking gold mine. You pick up the money after it's delivered to the bank and take it right to the studio. Oh, and for 15 minutes' work, this is your fee. That much? I told you. I'll make you rich. It's depressing how easily I've hooked him again. It's early. Uh oh. Guess the early bird does catch a few worms. Spider Man. Oh, you've heard of me. Associate Mr. Fosdick will be waiting for you at the studio. Uh oh, Betty. How will I explain why Peter Parker didn't show up? said this dude was fast. Hey, wow. Nothing like looking at one million. Uh, I'm Fosdick. I'll need your signature. Whoa. What? Huh? What's going on here? These bills are counterfeit. Hey, wait a minute. I got those bills at the bank. Not from my bank, you didn't. I say I did. I'll be right back. A high voltage electronic cage, just in case some jerk should try a heist. You're under arrest for stealing one million dollars, jerk.
course, haven't played for a sucker. Hal Hunter set me up. But why? Well, only one way to find out. There's always something attractive about money, even when you don't need it. Take it away. That was real smart of you, Kingpin. Me driving away with the phony money and the other guys taking the real stuff? Fooled Spider-Man. You don't understand, do you? Intellectually, Spider-Man is no match for me. I can toy with him or when I am tired, eliminate him. But even then, I'll give him a one in a million chance to escape. I got pictures of Spider-Man stealing that money. Proving Spider-Man stopped some thieves from taking it. Hey, hey, stop the presses. We got pictures proving Spider-Man took the real money and switched it. Hey, what's happening, baby? Don't suppose you can use me anymore now that I'm a fugitive. Well, you blew your fee. But maybe I can still help you. The diamond exchange. A perfect setup for confusion. The Habsburg clock is on top of the diamond exchange. Our web walker friend will accidentally trigger the earthquake alarm. Downstairs, panic, confusion, the diamonds will be ours. The Habsburg clock is not working. Can you fix it? Why, yes, sir, I can. Just like Spider-Man. Enough pressure and... You're great. Here's all you need to know about the Habsburg clock. It just needs a few minor adjustments. Repair a clock? It keeps you out of sight for a while and it pays good. Largest private collection of cut diamonds in the world. Yeah, glad when they auction them off and get them out of here. Said. I have to wait till the clock strikes and these guys move out on the track. Hmm, I've seen that car before. That's the same bozo who had the briefcase at the bank. This is what I was waiting for. That's close enough. I don't want to be in the way when they panic. Hey, that's not supposed to happen. Three strikes, you're out! The earthquake alarm. The vibrations from the clock set it off.
kingpin. Now it all makes sense. This is what I've been waiting for. Something to be said for a wristwatch. of time. Time to decide what you want to be when you grow up. Taking the elevators too slow. Take you on one at a time, webhead. E.G. Ah, oh, let's do it all at once. Uh, okay, uh, back to one at a time. <laughs> Okay, Chubbo, it's you and me. How about stopping by twice a week for my regular workout wall crawler? No, when I visit a prison, I get a rash. with the Girl Scouts and get a real workout. Get me out of here! Uh, token of our appreciation for returning our money. And from the museum trustees for returning Golden Boy. From the boys at the Diamond Exchange, Spider-Man. Diamonds? No, a bill to repair the old clock you busted. Uh, settle for half? Well... Under the circumstances, okay. You've just made a wonderful old lady very happy. <sighs> Thank you, Peter. And that nice Mr. Kingpin. Whoever he is. 